right, it says, okay, sorry, it was paused. I was like, uh, starting up. <laughs> Hello and welcome, you guys. Happy Saturday, everybody. Well, Saturday over here on the West Coast of the U.S. still, so shh, I know, on the East Coast, happy Sunday, woohoo. Uh, but yeah, still happy Saturday over here, yay. Okay, let me fix the headset because I know that's the first thing you gotta do. I don't know why it always starts up delayed. <laughs> I know we always say that too, or I always start talking about that first thing. Alrighty, escapees, I think, you know, the camera looks pretty good. A bit of my head's being cut off, but that's fine. <laughs> if I lift my arms a little, see how much you guys can see. Curious. Okay, that's good. That's fine. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Alrighty, escapees, very good to see everybody. Let me go ahead and let's just start up right away. I'm going to make sure that Dark Souls the game is showing up. I'm just going to go ahead and update that info right there and just start refreshing the stream bunch of times i know i know what a pain i'm gonna tweet it you guys it's true it's happening now live now so let's go ahead and say it mom's on a date and here i sit playing games on a saturday night but who's having the better time though <laughs> come hang out with me you guys if you're still up we're going live now with more dark souls on xbox just finishing, uh, just finished slaying ONS, Smo and Ornstein. I call him Smo and Ornstein. A lot of people say Ornstein and Smo. I don't know why I say the S first. Uh, we just finished slaying them last cast. You guys were on NG Plus, level 128, as per usual. Twitch.tv slash Soulscape. That's twitch.tv slash S-O-U-L underscore 3SC4P3. I'm going to go ahead and tweet that. Alrighty, same thing over there on the... Facebook, so let's go ahead and get Facebook out. Nightbot is in here. Streamlabs is in here, but not at the right page, so let's get Streamlabs on the right page. Ah, you know what? Let me go ahead and fix the bot while we're at it. So let me get Streamlabs chatbot in here. I know, I was like, I knew I forgot something. And in the meantime, I'll go ahead and go live out on Discord. The tweet, all of that is true, you guys. Mom is indeed on a date right now. And it's not with the same person from before. I know, right? Mom getting more action than Soul is. What? What? But uh, yeah, so she's a little bit, uh, she took off at 8.30 and she is a little bit of a distance away, not too, too far. Not as far as the uh, the first person was, so. Alrighty, let me just make sure that Dark Souls is showing up as the game category. Good, good, good. What up, Mr. Mega Genesis? Yes, super late Saturday because I'm up waiting for mom one time or one thing. And also, you know, I'm a night owl here, especially on the weekends. Might as well jump on for a bit. Uh, I am going to say straight off the bat, sorry if I get shiny. It's freaking hot over here. <laughs> I think we're at, gosh, what, what degrees is it today? Good Lord. Oh, thank you for that. Apparently, it's only 70 degrees Fahrenheit at the moment, but damn, it was hot earlier, you guys. It reached the uh, lower 90s, actually, so <sighs> spicy. All right, we are on day seven today. Oh, is that hilarious? Good to see you, hilarious. Thank you for the host. Hilarious one. Much love, dude. Guys, if you haven't seen Hilarious yet, he is a streamer here on Twitch. Got some pretty badass streams. What up, King Atomos? Welcome to the channel, dude. How are you doing? And good to see you, Mega Genesis. Guys, Mr. Mega Genesis, also a caster here on Twitch. I'm just waiting for Streamlabs chatbot to open up. And I can give everybody their proper shout outs. There we are. With that notification for Hilarious, that pretty much signifies that Nightbot should be in here. Oh no! I went back to Facebook really quick. I'm on my personal page. My Gina page. I just hope I didn't uh, post that over to the personal page. Cause I won't get a whole bunch of my old high school friends in here. Ugh. I actually, oh God, I think I might've posted it to my personal page. Let me go back, you guys. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. No, 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 delete it. Oh, accidentally posted the going live tweet to my personal Facebook page. None of those people care, escapees. All right, there we are. Oh, Jesus. Now I got to go back to Discord. Sorry about that, everyone. 
Okay, plus, personal Discord doesn't need to know that mom's on a date right now. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, you know, embarrassing for mom. She'll be like, oh my god, I told you not to tell. And here I sit telling the stream. You guys get to know stuff, though. All right, here we go, escapees. Ah, what up, Harry Bishop and Lightning in the house? Good to see you guys. Happy Saturday, happy Sunday, depending on where you're at, escapers. <laughs> Chad, if you're in here, get the f out. Chad, I see you in there. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking, Harry. We're just starting up today. Uh, actually, okay, I'll be honest. I'm a little bit hot, a little bit sweaty. But uh, other than that, doing good. But you can, I can start to feel it now. I'm more of a, oh gosh, even though I was complaining a little bit about the snow and stuff, I'm more of a snow type or more of a cold type person and like fair weather and all that. <sighs> right now I'm like, man, I wish I could trim my hair a little bit, but no, 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 get away from the scissors. Alrighty, friends, let me see here. I'm going to scroll up all the way. Or at least I think I'm scrolling up all the way. Great, good to see you too, Mr. Mega Genesis. I think you were the first in the channel. Anybody know who the first in the cast was today? I'm pretty sure it was Mr. Mega Genesis. I have to look on the travel, but I actually can't. It's like doing this thing where I scroll to the top and then it scrolls right away to the bottom again. Weird. It is hot, you guys. All right, let's throw some fellowship hypes out. We got Mr. Mega Genesis in the house. Playing some super Star Wars. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> So, you gotta get more up to date with your games. And Lightning, of course, the one and only. Good to see you, Lightning. Excellent, excellent. Hilarious Donkey, thank you for that host up there. Guys, if you wanna check his link, I'm too lazy to type it out. No, I'm kidding, I'll give you one. It's messed up, huh, Hilarious? I'll give you one. There you are. <laughs> Y'all wanna check his link, scroll up? No. I'm kidding. Hi, Ben. Good to see you. Another caster in the house. What up, Burkempa? Welcome in. Oopsie. I pressed the tab button without that. Oh, super. Okay, so Super Star Wars is on the Super Nintendo as well. Makes sense. Super, super. Hilarious. Playing Skyrim also makes sense. How are you doing, Ben? Good to see you. I need to catch one of those uh, retro streams of yours, Genesis. Man. Oh, gosh. I've been, uh, I'm actually kind of waiting for, it's coming up pretty soon now, now that I think about it. Waiting for Summer Games Done Quick, SGDQ. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. I was watching the recent speedruns that they were doing about, like, last month or so, right? About three weeks ago. Here, there. How are you doing, Harry Bishop, by the way, if I didn't ask you? Or... If you happen to be in ads or anything like that. King of Thomas, welcome to the stream too, by the way, if you didn't hear me say hello. I'm scrolling up in chat too myself, speaking of scrolling. <laughs> Super Star Wars, the Lightning's played it. Super Star Wars is an absolutely amazing uh, Super Nintendo Star Wars game series. Dang! So they had like Super Star Wars 1, 2, 3, 4. I've played Star Wars Legos. I have, I've enjoyed it. I haven't played it all the way through completion because, damn, there are a lot. But that's a cool game if you want to co-op with somebody. You have, like, a friend over or something. Or you just want to throw something on that's not a hardcore co-op shooter or anything like that. Just throw on some Lego Star Wars type games. Or Lego games in general, I should say. <laughs> Dark Souls in 2012. I thought it was 2006 or so. Copyright 2012 Bandai Nebco. Copyright 2011 to 2018. I know they remastered it last year, or it came out, came out again last year as the remaster, so that's where the copyright 2018 comes from. I actually don't know, Harry Bishop. <laughs> I guess so. Was Dark Souls... I'm going, I guess. We had to go by the copyrights, right? Uh, I'm assuming Dark Souls came out in 2011 or 2012. Good eye slide right there. I'm one of those people that, uh, especially when I was growing up, you guys, I would wait until the game had been out, any new games and stuff had been out for quite a while so I could get it on discount over at GameStop and all that. Mom wouldn't buy me the straight up new games, you guys. <laughs> She's like, what? $60? Why 
well, I remember when they used to be 40, 39.99, you know, stuff like that. Especially when I was playing um, my little handheld games. Uh, I remember they were about like, what, 19, 24 dollars to get a new Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance game. Well, once I started getting the better consoles, mom was like, uh-uh, I ain't buying you these new games anymore. We gotta go to some kind of, you know, discount shop. Found GameStop and Game Crazy, thank goodness. But yes, but I ended up not playing uh, Elder Scrolls Morrowind, or excuse me, El Elder Scrolls Oblivion until I would say like a good five years after it came out. It was a while, you guys. I think Oblivion came out when I was probably early high school, maybe. I ended up not playing it until getting into college. I missed out, but hey, I got it for cheap, right? <laughs> I still got to experience it. It was just uh, quite a bit later, though. Kingsfield is a prequel to Demon Soul. I've never even heard of Kingsfield. What a uh, what system was that one on? Light. King of Thomas also played Super Super Star Wars. Oh, it seems like it was a popular game then. That's pretty cool, you guys. Hey, well, Mr. Mega Genesis is streaming that. If you want a little bit of nostalgia, I'm sure you can go ahead and dish some delicious nostalgia out. Genesis is like, nah, I'm changing games now. <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm bored of that. Oh, hell yeah, finally got a PS4. GG, Mr. Mega Genesis, dude. Welcome to the future. I guess I can't say welcome, I'm still in the past, but <laughs> greetings from the past to the future over there. No, that's badass, Genesis. Now you have access to like all sorts of exclusive Bloodborne, yeah. Um, Bloodborne, the uh, the one with Aloy. I always forget, the, oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I always forget Horizon Zero Dawn's title. I have to like always think about it. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, a whole bunch of exclusives. Yeah, mom is on a date, you guys. She's getting more action than Full Escape is. <laughs> oh, okay, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 is Kingsfield. I'll have to look that up just for, like, fun and, you know, you get more lore and background info. I actually haven't looked up Demon Souls stuff either. Ooh, super expensive, super rare now. Kind of like the Fire Emblem stuff, games stuff. Did I pay Daggerfall? I did not, but I think I was watching, if you guys remember Cerebi, uh, I was watching Cerebi stream Daggerfall. Man, that is old school 2D Elder Scrolls hilarious. <laughs> did you play Daggerfall hilarious? Dude, if you did, if you haven't, you should stream it. I had to fall asleep to that. All right, let me roll my stats. Elder Scrolls Daggerfall. And three minutes of that and Soul's like, Great stream, hilarious. <laughs> Background noise. <laughs> and that's, uh, sorry if that sounded mean and stuff, you guys. I use a lot of streamers for background noise, so don't, <laughs> don't judge. Oh, Ben, thank you for the host too, Ben. I appreciate it. Good to see everybody. Cleopatra, what up, Cleo? Oh, I know, things are gonna start getting this expensive again. Dang, I don't know what console I'll get after this one here. I have the original Xbox One. I don't have the One X or anything like that, so I don't know, you guys. Whatever comes after the Xbox One, I suppose. Unless I completely revamp and switch over. I do gotta stay with the times, at least. At least console-wise. <sighs> Might be expensive, though. I actually haven't been thinking about that, Cleopatra. God, I'm gonna have to start saving some money for, an, like, you know, a new console one of these days. Oh, no. The best game is Genesis. Okay, well, thank God. One or two more years, then we start getting the new consoles. I've heard rumors of them, too. I've heard rumors of them, too, Cleo. Stuff about PlayStation. Not too much about Xbox, but stuff about PlayStation and Nintendo. And what they're planning on doing. I guess Nintendo is... They're gonna make the Switch a little bit cheaper and they're making a version where it is kinda like, the Switch is completely handheld, I think. You're not able to undock it and connect it to your TV. Or you can still connect it to your TV, but you're not able to undock it and stuff, I think. Unless you're not able to connect it to your TV at all. That's interesting. It's Switch 2.9. Switch 1.1. 1. 1. 
And Cleo's like, I wouldn't go for Xbox next gen. I'm just so used to the controller though. I suck on PlayStation, you guys. Everyone's like, press square, I'll have to look down. What the which one is square? What the square one? <laughs> I mean I know the shape of a square, come on now, but I <laughs> but I would uh I'd probably forget, you know, like is that top is that the top left button? Is that the bottom right? Oh god, let me see. And by the time I'm looking, it's like, oh, you did. Oh, speaking of that, you guys, new emote that I was talking about the other day, Solus Hype is live, woo! So we can actually hype if you're an Ascendant, feel free to drop that emote, you know, whatever, in any channel that you want, you guys, feel free. Woo, we got some hypes and stuff, yes! Yay! And it looks okay, it's not too bad. Oh, uh, it's a little small, you know, but that's what I get for adding that splat. Had I just left the hype alone, you know, and just no background or anything, it would have been able to be a little bit bigger and stuff. But no, I think it's good. Yeah, they are. There's, like, not really any exclusives for Xbox. Because, you know, you're able to play them on your PC now because of the Microsoft thing, like Cleo says. Truth! And then I do miss out on games that I would like to try, like Bloodborne, a few others. I don't know, you guys. The only reason that I wouldn't switch out is uh, either money or, or cost of, you know, whatever console. And uh, just the controller, too. I'm a little bit like, oh, no, I don't know if I'd be able to figure it out. Who knows? Oh, thank you, Genesis. Made that one in Inkscape as well. And it was already a pre-designed uh, font, so I can't take any credit for the font or the letters looking like that. I just chose the color. I did make the splat in the background, that little star fire thing. That pointy thing right there. Yeah, Mega Genesis has a PlayStation 4. Ben also has a PlayStation 4. True lightning. The only sad part about that is that I'm not usually able to afford like two consoles. I guess I could, but That'd be expensive, like getting both consoles at the, the same time or the beginning. <laughs> hey, what up, silly? Aw, oh, you're too kind, silly mugs. Good to see you, good to see you. Hell yeah, brother, I got there. Yeah, feel free to add each other. I know Ben's probably going to be like, add me on the PlayStation. <laughs> feel free to add each other, you guys, if you have gamer tags and stuff like that. I don't count that as self-promotion or anything. Self-promotion just is like if somebody's like, hey, follow my stream, follow my stream. You're like, hey. Down over there. See, like right now, the PlayStation 4, according to Lightning, 300 bucks. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. I guess what I was talking about is. Uh... Oh, I'm level 131. I think I have 128 on the title here. Let me fix it. Fix it, soul. Otherwise, you are a liar. Okay, 131. There we go. Yay. Oh. See, the PS5 is what I was thinking of, uh, Lightning, if that's if that's what they're going to call it, right? Um, I heard that one's going to, isn't it going to be starting price like about 600 bucks though? I think, I think I've seen a few articles. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me as always. Oh, so Xbox might start doing something at E3. That'd be nice, Cleo. I want to see what they have because I haven't read anything about Xbox yet. Just PlayStation and Switch. Who knows, Switch might, or Nintendo, I should say. Nintendo might. So, Alright, I also have another story to tell you guys a little bit later once we get into the stream. We should go ahead and start up. Thank you for joining the Skippies, yay! Stream is starting officially in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to this little stream, yay! Happy Saturday, happy Sunday, depending on where you're at. Got about 19 minutes left of Saturday over here, so I'm like, alright, it's still Saturday. <laughs> I don't know about the price, I think it's about $5.99. I just rounded it up to 600. Oh, you want the story right now? Hilarious. I'll give you guys the story. So you know that puppy? You might have seen her on my Twitter timeline. You might have seen her on my Snapchat timeline here and there. Neighbor puppy. I've nicknamed her Little Bruises, Tiny Bruises, Tiny Snorkeler, a lot of little names that I have for her. Anyways, tiny little neighbor dog wanders over. She finds a hole through the fence 
and she wanders over. She ended up staying with us, and we've had to take her back to the neighbors twice, right? So I think, where did I go? Oh, I went to Dollar Tree yesterday. And when I took off to Dollar Tree, Tiny Bruises was hanging out with us, and she ended up, I guess, you know, going outside and stuff, and Mom was like, all right, now's a good time. It's about 7 p.m. I'll go ahead and I'll take Tiny back to her house and, you know, give her back to the neighbors again, say, hey, your dog got out. She escaped once again. Oh, we should plug that hole back there. And so I guess mom says that she took tiny bruises back to her house and the lady that answered, the neighbor that answered was the wife of the, uh, well, of course, of the dude that lives there. Anyways, it was the wife that answered. And when my mom said, hey, you know, the dog's out. Uh, she escaped again. She's been hanging out at our house for a few hours. The neighbor lady said, oh yeah well we're actually she's like yes yes in spanish she said yeah the dog's always been been getting out lately and oh she's being a little bit of you know like a headache or a pain like they don't want to deal with her basically and so the neighbor lady also said that she's looking for a home to give to you know to give the little dog to they're trying to rehome her and mom was like well i'll take her you know if if, if you don't want her and stuff and and the lady's like well I'm Mom said she hemmed and hawed, and she kind of thought about it and said, well, you know, if we decide to give her to you, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, let you know and stuff. And so my mom, you know, handed over the dog. Everything was good. Uh, I guess the neighbor lady let the dog out to be with the other dogs that she has. And mom decided to come home. Not 10 minutes later, escapees, little bruises was at our uh, front door scratching again. So we let her in. She stayed the night, and I think... According to mom, mom says that the neighbor lady pretty much gave her to us, but then she told me that story, you know, where the neighbor lady said, mm, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but long story short, I think little bruises, I think the little neighbor dog is ours now, kind of. Of course, if the neighbors ask for her back, we're going to give them to or give her to her, but like tiny bruises doesn't want to live over there with them. I don't know. They kind of, she was one of the pups that would always have little puppies and they'd sell uh, those puppies out for 200 bucks each. So the neighbors are making a little profit. But uh, looking more closely at the little dog, we kind of noticed that she is, like she's missing teeth and stuff. So I don't know if she's, she might be like an elder dog. Maybe it's time for her to be retired from you know, having so many litters here and there. Uh, but so far, you know, I guess she's kind of our dog now. It's a little bit hard, you know, transitioning Tinkerbell and stuff. The first day Tinkerbell was pissed. Oh, excuse my language. <laughs> She's like, F this, you know, and she was super mad. And uh, today it seems like both dogs are a little bit calmer until it comes to food. And then they're like, oh, well, tiny bruises is pretty nice, but she just cowers and stuff. But Tinkerbell's like, <laughs> bites her lip and all that. <laughs> you know how dogs are. Hey, what's up, Iron? Sneaking in through a story. Good to see you. Bob the Eskimo, good to see you as well. Happy Saturday, Sunday. I think so too, Genesis, waiting a year before getting that new console. Good advice right there. Oh, did the Twitch app update? Uh oh, didn't do anything for me, Ben. Hopefully it doesn't start glitching out and stuff. Who said they wanted a PS5 Me Too Lightning? PS5 badly. That'd be badass. Just gotta get used to that controller for me. Woo! Platinum trophy for Dragon Age Inquisition. Bob the Eskimo, hell yeah! I think that deserves some hype stream. GG Bob. What up Iron? Happy Saturday. Sunday over there in Colorado. Oh, thank you Lightning. <laughs> Favorite soul streamer? Hell yeah. He's like, yeah, you're a cool soul. You're not the best soul streamer, but you're, you're decent. No. <laughs> no, thank you so much Lightning. You rock. It's like, you're not good at it, but at least you're funny. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like to make fun of myself a little bit. Yeah, we got a little Borkenstein. We did. Tiny little dog, you guys. But I'm trying to, of course, you know, I don't want Tinkerbell to feel bad because uh, it just kind of came out of nowhere that the dog started hanging out at our house a little bit longer. So, you know, I don't want T-Bell to feel sad or anything. So I always try to, you know, feed Tinkerbell first, give her lovings first, uh, give her more loving, sometimes ignore tiny bruises just a little bit, you know, just to show Tinkerbell like, yeah, I still love you more. But they're, they're acting a little bit better around themselves. 
around themselves. Ooh, some setting and stuff. Yeah, go fix that, Ben. Oh, speaking of that, am I offline as well? Let me check something really quick on my settings. I'll be back, Escape Beats. You might get a purple screen for a little bit. Or the, the screen might freeze and I'll be like... For like two minutes. Hold on, you guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I fixed it. Fixed it. Could you guys see me do when I was doing that? Probably can, huh? Anyways, I was offline. Oops. Shh. I didn't want anyone to know how late I was staying up last night. I know. I did stay up really, really late. It's about, what, like 6 a.m. or so? Yeah, new emote hype escapees. Yay. And we're all fixing our settings. Alrighty, you guys. So yesterday, if you were here with us, yay, thank you. We were kicking butt with Smo and Ornstein. And it took us a while to get them, but we did, we did. Uh-oh. Hey, my bonfire's gone. Gotten my lady. She's been slain downstairs. Uh oh. Did I enter a new tab or what happened? Solo escape. Okay, there we are. Sorry about that. Gosh, I have my little. What do they call it? Not an extra mouse, but the uh, wireless mouse. There we are. I have a wireless mouse over here. Sometimes when I move, I'll press the button on accident, like the right button closes out a window or does something ridiculous down there. Is that thing like a companion? Uh, which thing, Harry? <laughs> the new dog? Yeah. No, uh, no, I'm curious, which thing? You mean, uh, this guy? No, I wish. The Onion Master. Mr. Sigurd. Sigmeyer. Sigurd's in Dark Souls 3. Sigmeyer of Katarina. He is not a companion. He is indeed an NPC, a non-playable character uh, in the game. He has his own storyline and stuff if you talk to him in these different areas. But no, he's just an NPC, a character in the game that just moves around and, and you can talk to him and all that, Harry Bishop. You can fight with him during one part of this game where he jumps into a pit of monsters and says, I'll save you. And you watch him fight for a little bit and he doesn't make it out alive so you can go down and help them you can actually slay the monsters first then make him jump down just leave a few uh, that continues his storyline a little bit as well uh -oh. no my hair is fading out all that beautiful hair color that I used to have like the profile picture and stuff it's all fading back to the blonde that I had before and then of course any darkness any black hair that's my natural hair color just your settings are not messed up. It's me. It's me. High definition internet. <laughs> He's like, damn it, I thought I had high def settings. Corn sun. Wireless, the future is now. Iron. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, dude, that's a good, speaking of hilarious, that's a good emote. Is that artsy fartsy? Nice. Nephew land. Ah, speaking of Siegmeier, let's go ahead and see what he has to say. Last time we saw him, he was up in Honor Londo, uh, right outside of that room with the three Black Knights, Silver Knights, and he was complaining about how he would need at least five more bodies to fight those Silver Knights. And we go in, we slay him. He gives us a tiny beings ring, which is a really cool ring that helps you. I believe it gives you a little bit more HP, a little bit more health. Well, Let's go ahead and talk. fancy meeting you here. Greetings. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. Up you know, above, Honor Londo. I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Was that your doing? He's asking if we were the ones that helped him get into Sen's fortress. Very first time we meet the Onion Knight, he's sitting right in front of Sen's fortress, looking down, he's like, I'm in a predicament. It was indeed us that helped us out, or helped yes, him out. I knew it. Just by it ringing the two like bells. It seems coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Thank me in payment in gold. As a token of my... Souls, actually. Gold if this was Sekiro. 
Ooh, yay, another token of appreciation. We got the Miracle called Emit Force. The one I was talking about that you can use if you are uh, like a healer type character, or if you have any points in your, what is it called, restoration? I actually don't remember. I have had a Herald character that used to heal. Miracle? Uh, no, not Miracle. Faith. There we are. Uh, your Faith stat. Then you can use Miracles and all that. Emit Force is one that won't do any damage to a player's health or anything, or an enemy's health, but it will bounce them back a little bit or stagger them so you can get a few hits in you're fast enough. There you are. I'll be heading right, down below shortly. Guys. There's nothing worthwhile up above. Oh, I think you bought No worries. Kind dude. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> he says he's prepared for the worst. I don't believe you. I don't believe you, Sigma. You need my help. Like Harry Bishop says, take me along as your companion. There you are. I'll right, be heading down up. below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. Oh. <laughs> so he's going to start heading down. Down is into Blight Town and also into like Quaylag's area. Uh, speaking of that, now that we have the Lord Vessel, we can go ahead and it opens up some options and stuff with where we can go next. So we can go ahead and follow him down into the basement. Or we could go, you know, in a different direction. We'll see. There you are. I'll okay. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, yes. That's, yeah, I wanted to. Yep. There we go. He says the same thing. We got rid of the item on the screen. Now we have options, escapees. Charles, hilarious Charles. Oh man, speaking of chairs, I forgot to refresh my water. Ugh, warm water. <laughs> Love that British pothos. What was pothos again, uh, Harry? Pothos is a way of being, correct? Ethos and pathos, right? Quality that evokes pity or sadness. Ah. Yes, yes, he does. He is a sad character. That actually happens to a lot of... Uh, oh, pathos was playing on your emotions and stuff in English. Um, I know, I was like, I remember something. And ethos was your ethics, right? Yeah. Um, I know, I was like, I remember that word sounds familiar. I gotta look it up. He does, and a lot of characters in Dark Souls, they will play on your emotions, your feelings. You kind of start to get attached to them, and then all of a sudden, ah, end of the storyline, they go and croak somewhere. Unfortunately, this is NG+, Plus, so we've already beat the game. Unfortunately, uh, Siegmeier of Katarina does turn out to be one of those characters that perishes at the end of his quest line, regardless of what you do. Uh, you can extend his quest line a little bit, but he always, you know, passes away, either by your hand, by his own hand, or... And British stuff is pretty cool, says Jennifer. I'll agree with that. No, it was freaking hot, Ben. I was like, send some of that rain over here. No, it was hot all day. I believe in supernatural stuff. I haven't witnessed too much of it myself, but I do, you know, I believe there's probably something. Kind of weird supernatural things could happen. Oh my God, what happened, Bob? Oh man, yeah, let us know. Hey, I'll bear with you. Bear with me too. If I uh, miss it, I'll scroll up and stuff. Dude, that's badass, Bob. What happened? Had some supernatural stuff happen. Um, let me see. So we have the Lord Vessel. We beat Smo Nornstein. Once you get the Lord Vessel in this game, you can warp to, I think, not any bonfire, but certain bonfires uh, that'll bring you closer to different areas. I believe. Oh, we have to place the Lord Vessel first, right? Then it opens up those extra doors. I think that's how it works, you guys. I don't think the extra doors opened up automatically last time, did they? This this playthrough I want to play with, or I want to go and talk to Koth. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about really quick. This character right here, I have not spoken to him yet. And in all of my Dark Souls playthroughs, he is the character I give the Lord Vessel to. Well, there's another, they're known as Primordial Serpents. There's another Primordial Serpent downstairs in New Londo. He's known as Koth. He 
he's kind of like the uh, he's the perceived perceived evil character or evil primordial serpent in this game so i want to go the evil route this time last stream or last playthrough of this game we ended up uh, linking the flame, linking the fire. I've heard there's only two endings to Dark Souls. Thank you, Lightning. Thank you, other friend who let me know that last stream. So there's only two endings to Dark Souls. Either you link the flame or you don't. So I gotta not link the flame this next playthrough. So I wanna give it to Koth and go ahead and do it the right way. I think I have a playthrough on Dark Souls that's not remastered where I also didn't link the flame. <laughs> Is that a tusk? Reminds me of that Fleetwood Mac song. Hey, what's up? Oh, Red... Red DD. Red DD, welcome to the stream. If I said that wrong, let me know. Xbox Live. What's that, Red DD? It is kind of difficult, not gonna lie. The only thing that makes it a little bit easier is that you have fought the bosses before. Well, most of them. So you kind of sometimes remember how to fight them. Uh, granted, though, there are fights that I'm like, oh god, I don't remember any of this. Uh, I am at level 131, so I'm pretty, I guess, pretty high level for this NG plus run. That he's a lazy ass. He is. He's sleeping, wasn't he? Did it finally download, though, Ben? Last we heard, Burkhamper had like 99 hours to wait for a download. I was like, jeez, Louise. Mm, I'm going to walk away. Or walk away. Walk away. No, I'm going to walk to the nearest bonfire. If I remember correctly, it's upstairs over next to Andre, Andre of Astora. We'll bother him really quick. <laughs> He's like, why? Can't you find another blacksmith to bother? Can't you go bother that giant in Arn Orlando? Why you always gotta come to me for your smithing needs? <laughs> A flab mustache. Yeah! Oh my goodness, so you reminded me, Iron. I came up with a ridiculous story. I don't know why I was thinking about Dark Souls in the car yesterday, but I was thinking a ridiculous story uh, about Dark Souls and how, bear with me, this might be dumb, but it, it made me laugh in the car at least. Uh, so yesterday I said, oh, gosh, what's his name now? Primordial Serpent sleeping. Framped. I'm like, oh, Framped, yeah, he's a Primordial Serpent. He looks like this. Literally like this. And so I had that in my mind when, it was, when I was in the car yesterday at going to Dollar Tree. I was thinking, yeah, he does really look like that, doesn't he? And then I, I thought of a weird, funny story with my imagination. I was like, Miyazaki probably said, oh man, we're really gonna make him look like that, like a fist? Give him, give him a little bit of something, you know? And so they said, all right, and you know what they did? Whoosh! They added some whiskers onto him. So it looks like that now. Instead of being like that, you guys. Let's see if you can see that. Probably next to little G. Instead of being like that, we said add something. Make, make him pop. And they went whoosh. Like that. So he's got some whiskers. That's cloth, you guys. Cloth and framped. They look like two fingers, kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Cheesy story. That's how they came up with this character design. They're like, oh yeah, that looks good, you guys. We just gotta add a little something here. Just add some whiskers. That's good to go. Last enemy we needed. Just throw them on in. <laughs> Open for whiskers. Good caddy, good caddy picture. Good kitty picture, Iron. Right here, I've seen that perfect pink nose. Alright, excellent. Get rid of those. Forgot those guys were there. Oops. Alright, let's see what Bob had to say about his paranormal experience. Earlier this week, we got a call. Great uncle, who's been dealing with Parkinson's disease for about five years, fell over, bleeding in his brain, unresponsive. Family decided to let him go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about Bob. As of yesterday, the second dove has been hanging out with the first dove. It's been there for two years now. Oh man, that is wild! You know what? Believe it or not, Bob, my mom... Oh, okay, I saw that little ember, whatever it was, go across the screen. 
and I was like, what is that? Um, believe it or not, Bob, my mom and a lot of my family members actually believe that too. If they see like, you know, certain birds and stuff hanging out and stuff, they'll be like, oh, look, there's mom and dad, you know, my grandma and grandpa, there's mom and dad uh, hanging out together, watching over us and stuff. That's actually really beautiful, Bob Dex Eskimo. I am very sorry to hear that. Uncle passed away though. Throw some love, escapees. That is hard though, Bob. But it really makes you think, doesn't it? Where does the spirit go after life ends? You know, what happens? Is there really a heaven? Do we come back? Are we reincarnated? Are we reincarnated into people again, or do we become maybe other species of creatures? I'm an amoeba next time. No. I'll be an amoeba next life, everyone, if you need me. I'll be playing Dark Souls with the fishes. Alrighty. Let's me see. Yeah. Andre, what did I want to do here? I don't think I really wanted to visit you. I was just looking for your bonfire, right? He's like, you scum, why'd you come down here then? Nobody ever visits me. Okay, so let's go ahead. I want to, I want to warp out. Let's go to... I'm trying to think of, like, bits and pieces that I missed out on. Uh... What did I want to go to Honor Mondo for? I did want to go there, but what the... By Gwendolyn downstairs? No. Ooh. We could do some painted world stuff where we fight uh, Priscilla. That wouldn't be too bad. Let me check to see how many humanity I have really quick. There is, I really, really, really want to save Knight Solaire. On his, he's another NPC, kind of like Onion Knight of Katarina. Solaire's the guy that goes, ah, oh, praise the sun. He has a quest line where you can save him or you just let him continue the quest line and he ends up going crazy. You have to fight him in the end and kill him. So I want to save him this playthrough. I've never saved him before. And in order to do that, I heard that I have to give a certain number of humanity, I believe it's 30, over to Quaylag's sister, Quaylon. So let me check to see how much humanity I have. Because Quaylon is getting some of them. Uh, oh, I got 15 right now. And seven... Seven of the doubles. All right, I think we can do that. Let's go ahead and work down over to the Daughter of Chaos area. Chamber of the Princess. No, that's the Sunlight Lady. Okay, Daughter of Chaos, I think. Priscilla! I think, yeah, maybe we'll do that tonight, Lightning. Because uh, that's not going to affect any, not, not too much of the storyline, huh, Lightning? I won't mess up anybody's NPC quests or anything. All right, let me scroll up, you guys. I did miss... Ooh, are you getting spammed with like some weird messages, Harry? Like people saying, hey, follow me or go over here. The best, because I, I get a lot of those too. People are like, hey, come watch this stream. Like, especially when I'm in Sour kool -Aid Show's channel. I'm like, dude, I don't want these whispers. Uh, I just report, I do report if it's uh, if it's somebody I don't know. I'm like, uh, report it, I say it's spam. And then uh, when they say, what's the extra info? I just go spamming um, self-promotion. Spamming self-promotion. Oh, I'm sorry, Harry. I know, I get a lot of those. I know Iron Milk State gets a lot of those. Damn whispers. I didn't know that, actually, Iron. I mean, maybe you put that in the Discord and I skimmed over it. Apparently, you can go into your settings to make sure the only people that can whisper you are people you follow or you're friends with. Or you can block all the whispers. I know about that one. <laughs> Been a while since I looked at those things. Same, Iron. I didn't even know you could... Make it so only people you follow can whisper you. It's pretty nice. Everyone thinks they know. How do they actually know? Right? Exactly. That's why I think religion, you know, I'm I, I'm pretty chill with religion. I don't have one myself, but I guess I would say I'm not spiritual spiritual. But uh, I'd say I probably believe in a higher being. I don't know who that higher being is or what it is. Maybe it's just fate. But uh, yeah, I don't have a specific religion, but then I don't ever put anybody else's religion down or anything like that. 
as long as they don't start, you know, like forcing it on you, like, you need to be like this. Ah! And I'm like, no, I don't. But I'll keep an open mind, though. <laughs> yeah, we might go into the painted world. It does, doesn't it, Bob? It's like an emptiness, too, that, that uh, comes into your life. A sadness, especially, that it leaves behind. It does take a wind out of your sails when it happens, though. Was it 20 or 30? Thank you, Lightning. He says 20 or 30 right there. <laughs> See, that's what I want to do, too. I, I try to find, excuse me, farm humanity from the rats below the Dragon's Bridge at Undead Park. Right? Every time I go down there, everyone's like, that's a good place to farm. Sometimes I get none for all seven or eight rats that I slay. Um, I got, like, zero humanity. I'm like, every now and then I will get one, though. Yeah. And it's usually when I'm not even looking for the humanities, like, one or two will drop. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Okay. okay, so I believe last time we gave her... Gosh, we gave her at least, like, ten, right? Let's give her another ten and see what happens. So in order to hand over any humanity over to Quailon, I have to go ahead and go into my inventory. I should have gone bottom up. Oops. <laughs> we scrolled from the top all the way down. Um... I never learned my lesson. I have to go ahead and use these, so... Twin humanities will give me two. I use five, that's gonna be five times two is ten, hopefully. My math has gotten really bad. Alright, we got ten humanities. Oh, excuse me. She requires a certain ring in order to understand her language switch out really quick. That is the old witch's ring. Oh, my bad. It's trying to look for the ring from an old witch. Engraved minutely with indecipherable script, but seemingly useless. Until you know what it's used for, it's used to talk to this young lady here. Oh, my dear sister. And pretend to be her sister. Find me. The only other person she can talk to. Terribly. Let's talk about her egg sacs. They don't hurt terribly. Um, all right, let's enter, enter the covenant the really quick again. Of course, let me try. I'm <laughs> switching covenants again. Iron, iron's like oh, typical. Damn covenant hoppers. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Let's offer the humanity right there. I don't know if we have to be a part of her covenant, but it's probably a good thing. Offer ten. Pray. Allegiance deepened. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and speak to her. Quilla, please, sister, do not cry. I the sun. Really, I'm not crying. Really, I have you. Don't I? All right. So she hasn't opened the door just yet. I'll be fine. I have you, dear sister. But promise me. That you will take care of yourself. By the way, the sister that she speaks of is Quelag, one of the bosses that we had to kill just a few streams ago. One of the bosses that everybody has to kill, by the way, so. <laughs> always a sad story, we always kind of like, yeah, I'm your sister. Shh, nobody tell her. Um, okay, well, she's not Goodbye, doing anything. Quayla. I've never opened this pathway Do either, be so. Safe. I don't know if there is a cutscene or something. I'm gonna go ahead and offer... Let's do five. Five more and see if she says anything about it. I'm sure her dialogue has to change, right? See, I never learned. Why didn't I scroll bottom up? Okay. Let's go ahead and use five of these. These are the single humanities. That's why I'm using these. Quayla, My sister. What is it? <laughs> New Covenant hype. Give her one just to start off. Here, take one. I'll be Alright, All right, go ahead and Well, that's true, it didn't give me that that little pop-up that said our covenant allegiance deepened. Hey Louise, good to see you! Yay, 
thank you for the raid, Luis. I appreciate that. It's the raid. Isn't it really? I love it too, Harry. I heard Bloodborne. Oh man, voice acting of Bloodborne is amazing. Okay, Covenant was deepened. Good. I'll be fine. I have you, dear sister. But prompt that you take care of herself. Okay. Goodbye, Queen. Five more, and that's it for today. Because <laughs> for sure, if we give her five, that means that we have at least given her twenty. And I could have sworn that I've at least given her ten before, so we'll see. Keep on scrolling. These are precious humanity. It's not like you can find these growing on trees or anywhere. Nothing like that. Thank you, Luis. I appreciate that. Guys, feel free to check out his channel if you have the time. I actually got to lurk in one of your streams, Luis. It was pretty cool. Oh, okay, so lightning says what I think the old witch's ring does. It disguises you to look like the witch of Isolith. Was quite like the witch of Isolith? She was one of them. Did they have like a mother? They had like somebody who was like the main witch, right? Yeah, I'm open for whispers to try to help with the mod stuff. And more than that, says Iron. We occasionally need to let people pass us links. I got tons of spam as a result. So I'm accustomed to blocking bots and reporting accounts. <laughs> Iron's open for more than just whispers. Being open has its price. Oh, true, true. Sometimes you get the Blight Town herps when you go into Blight Town, right? Sometimes you get the spam herps when you open up them whispers. I'm actually not sure, Luis. I'm not familiar with the Kingdom Hearts series, but I know it was one of the Kingdom Hearts. Oh, the mother was the main witch of Isolith. Daughters were, oh, duh. Daughters were the daughters of chaos. Makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. That, that's the best kind of herps. When you get from somebody else. Yeah. Oh, my dear sister. Mind me, it does not hurt terribly. I heard that once you start, and I didn't really notice it, um, or I didn't pay attention, but I heard that once you do start giving her humanity, she kind of starts, Quailan kind of starts getting a little bit more animated. She's not so sickly acting. Uh, offer those five right there. Let's go ahead and do that. Please work. Oh, we got some free stuff, free stuff, y'all. Hell yeah. Woo. Chaos Storm, oh, apparently. Thank you, Quayla. Oh. Rank gained? Yeah, yeah. I'll take an extra rank. All right, let's see if she I'll says anything. Be fine. I have you, dear sister, but promise me. Yeah, we'll take care of ourselves, yes, yes. And, and... And that's it, I guess. Dang it. Alright. Goodbye, Quaylag. Do be safe. Alright, well, I don't know. Maybe I have to talk to her before? I start going into that quote-unquote secret area? All right, but that's enough for now. Let's go ahead and read up on the, uh, the Chaos Storm. Or that pyromancy that I just got from him. Was it a pyromancy? It was, wasn't it? Firestorm? Uh oh. Great Chaos Fireball, is that the one it was? No. Firestorm? Was it really Firestorm or no? I can't, oh, Chaos Storm is the one it was. Okay, there you are. I'm like, I can't remember. Oh, to the flame. I'm gonna try to, let me try to do Quaylon's voice. <clears throat> it's hard though. Art of the flame of chaos. No, that's way, that's wrong, but oh well, we'll just keep going with it. Art of the flame of chaos, which engulfed the witch of Isolith and her daughters. Erect to localize chaos fire pillars. The witch of Isolith 
in an ambitious attempt to copy the first flame, created instead the flame of chaos, a twisted bed of life. Oh my god. Oh no, don't worry about me, Quaylag. I'm fine. Just do, do take care of yourself. Quaylag, take care of yourself. Da ah! All right, enough of that. <laughs> so, okay, you wrecked some fire pillars. Nice, good, 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 spicy pillars. Vicious attempt to copy the first flame. She created the flame of chaos. Oh, okay. So yes, that is true. A little bit of lore of the uh, chaos witches and the queen herself, the main witch of Isolith herself. She did try to, once the flame started going out, right? Or something lightning, something started going on with the flame. She tried to control it herself, but it became too powerful. Couldn't control it. Not even her, none of her daughters altogether. Nope, didn't work, you guys. So flame started whoosh, going out of control. Made everyone into those gross worm blight town things, made turn sisters into half like spider creature demons. And uh, eventually we'll run into the bed of chaos, Mrs. Queen of Isolith herself, and we'll see what happened to her. It, you already know if you played the game, she turns into this gross tree. Not too much unlike the tree in Dark Souls 3, the great rockwood. Her screen. But yeah, so she tried, her and her daughters tried to control the flame. Went out of control. They turned into this. Um, alrighty, well, that's it for us, Queen Lan. Um, I think we can go now. Let's go ahead and head back to. Yeah, okay, let's go to Honor Londo. We're going to go ahead and go into a painting. A painted world. Oh, thank you, Lightning. Uh, maybe I am only at 20. I need to fork out another 10 more. I could have sworn, you guys. <laughs> Story time voice on point. Yeah. See, it's weird when you stream because I actually did forget that I <laughs> changed my voice into Quaylons right now. That's funny. You must only be a part of her covenant. I suppose, oh, I thought I was only... Can you be a part of more than one covenant at once? I thought I was only one covenant as well. Hmm. Well, I'll go back in a bit, Lightning. We'll go back after, uh... It's enough. Hopefully we get to her today. Try to cut off her tail. Her sneaky, invisible tail, you guys. Well, once we go into the painted world, we're not coming up for a bit, so... It's best to get it out of the way, though. And I think then after that, we'll head into New Londo. And start doing... You know, doing some stuff to get closer to Koth. The other primordial serpent. The other worm that we gotta talk to. Too bad they're not spicy cheese pillars, though, Iron. Hey, I had some tacos today again, you guys. This time they had cheese, yay, and no tomato, woo. No healthy vegetables, good. Just how I like it. It was a good day, you guys. I actually, um, I know a lot of people might say it was a little bit unproductive, but I did spend quite a bit of time checking up on old DMs that I had missed. I got, I got to have quite a few cool conversations with some people, a few mods in the channel too. Well, one mod at least. And uh, last night I went and did my whole spiel in the guards outlook, huh, Iron? Stayed up way too late doing that. But uh, I also considered that a good conversation. <laughs> um, yeah, not bad, you guys. And I don't know who's in the living room or if anybody can hear me. I hope not. But since mom's out on a date tonight and stuff, I don't know. It kind of kind of reignited my spirit a little bit. Uh, and what I mean by that is Kind of, oops, did I go the wrong way? Oh crap. Elevator backwards. Well, you know what? That might be a blessing in disguise. I do need to. Oh, no, no, we're at the right one. Yeah. It was okay if it went, oh, you know what? Yeah, let's go all the way down. It's okay if it goes all the way down because there's a bond. Oh, shoot, I went down the wrong side. Oh, <laughs> look before you leave. Um. There's a bonfire down here, so let's go poke at it. Hey, Seraphim! What's up, Seraphim Solstice? Welcome in! Happy Sunday! 
Woo! Good to see you. How are you doing today, tonight, this morning? Yeah, with cheese this time. Shredded cheese. Oh no! Well, I was for sure in her covenant tonight. Oh no! I messed it up though, lightning. Damn it! Damn those covenant hoppers like myself. So I guess we always had to have been in her covenant. Uh, like the whole time. Darn! I guess I gotta wait till NG plus two. Thank you, lightning. Oh man! Oh, what a bummer. We just wasted all that delicious humanity for nothing. It does, right, Harry? That's what I think too when I play Dark Souls. I figure, like, you see all these huge buildings and stuff. Sure, you know, there's a few enemies here and there. There's, like, knife throwers and all that. But I'm always thinking, like, where's the rest of the population? You know, I mean, I know a lot of people died off and stuff, but I don't know. I feel what you're saying, though, about it kind of gives it an isolation feel. I like it, though, too. All right, here's the bonfire. I won't ruin it, but there is a, uh, there's a secret way to get past here. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Gwyn had a son? What? But I thought he was exiled, though. Let's go ahead and learn a little bit about him. Boosts miracles, too, so if you're a faith healer, hell yeah, it's a good, good ring for you. Lord Gwyn's Firstborn, who inherited the... Sunlight once wore this ancient ring. Boosts the strength of many miracles. Lord Gwyn's firstborn was a god of war, but his foolishness led to a loss of the annals and a rescinding of his deific status. That scumbag weasel put him down in the ground. Today, even his name is not known. Good, good. Don't want that here. No. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that's the nameless king, you guys. We end up finding him in Dark Souls 3. Regular gameplay, just a little bit of a secret way to get to him. But uh, one of my favorite areas in Dark Souls 3 to level up is the Aimless King spot, which is Arch Dragon Peak. Arch Dragon Peak box. Doing good, Serpin, good. Oh, thank you, Serpin. Always smiling till I get angry. Woo! No, I'm just. Yeah, we were talking about that lightning. Uh, Iron says a good place to farm humanities and a lot of whispers, not whispers, but those uh, floor messages, those orange ones, say that the depths, that weird sewer water area, the depths are a good place to farm humanity off of rats and all that. Alright, so we haven't been to the floor. Oh, shoes! Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, we haven't been to the floor of this. I'll get you too. Uh. Both got each other with projectiles. How about that? Ugh. Ugh, teach you a lesson. Drop some throwing knives. No? Okay. It's for your brothers then. <laughs> Dude, Nameless King, uh, were we friends? Or like, did we know each other when uh, when I was doing Dark Souls 3 Nameless, Clean, Nameless King stuff, Iron? Oh god, that was like, so far, I think that is the Dark Souls boss that took Longest. Longer than Soul of Cinder, longer than Gwyn, longer than... Who was the long fight that I had the other day? Simone Ornstein, definitely longer than Simone Ornstein. That one actually took me about two streams. One and a half, because we got to him halfway through one cast, couldn't beat him. And uh, it took about, like, geez, five hours to the next cast to finally take him down. <laughs> I was so happy when we did it, though. I was like, oh god. So after we had done Nameless King, I was like, oh, Soul of Cinder ain't too bad then. That was still a tough battle though, don't think it was tough at all. Not as tough in my opinion as the damn Nameless King was. Bob. Oh, sorry Bob, that's <laughs> good. I was thinking of a name for the Nameless King, I was like, oh, we'll use Bob for him. <laughs> Bob the Eskimo was like, hey. Why do people do that all the time? They're always using my name for stuff. Just like, uh, what's that new name that everybody likes to say? Chad, right? I don't know if that's supposed to, oh, 
No, you don't. There we go. He was healing up. I don't know if that's supposed to be an insult when you call somebody Chad. I think it is. At least according to a few of the IRL streams that I watch. Oh, you dodger. If you dodge, you should dodge into my sword, not away. Here, I'll take him out instead. Oh! Take my- Oh, no, you don't! Away with that flask! You too! Oh! I'm pressing all sorts of wrong buttons tonight. Alright, there we are. <laughs> Finger game, not on point. Okay, so we got some throwing knives. Good, good, good. That chandelier that we dropped the other stream, here it lay. We'll uh, see what the contents are in a... in a bit. Alright. That's pretty awesome, Luis. Alright, let me see. Nope! Oh, fuzz! Do that little kick in the air like you just don't care. Excellent, you guys. Ooh, thank you, Lightning. I saw that whisper pass by on the tablet. He you know, sent me the link to how to save Solaire, because I really need to do that, you guys. I've not saved Solaire. And I have at least three Dark Souls files. Well, this is my third one here. Real Dark Souls files. There's a few that I had that I just got to like level 20. I was like, ah, screw this character. <laughs> but uh, most of them, you know, uh, my main characters are the ones. Oh! Oh man, I missed D Did DP fight the Nameless King? What? <gasps> hey, Daddy Dova King, a familiar face! Good to see you, Daddy. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Happy Sunday. See, there we are. Yeah, how are you doing tonight, Daddy? Or Dovakin, I should say. Sorry if that sounded weird. <laughs> Sometimes I pick out, you know, whatever part of the name that I see. My bad. Ooh, okay, so the item that was stuck in the chandelier happens to be a great magic weapon. I have forgotten. There are a few items that I'm like, oh, I forgot that that was there. And there's a few that I do remember. I think it was great magic weapon, wasn't it? Sorcery which improves upon the magic weapon. High magic augmentation for the right weapon. Not the wrong one, the right one. At Vinheim Dragon School, only magic swordsmen on special orders are allowed to learn this spell, which grants powerful augmentation to various weapons. But only the right weapon, not the wrong one, like it says on top. Cool. I might, after I finish with this character, you know, getting her stats to like 50 or whatever uh like the main ones that i want to hit i think maybe i'll start going for a little bit of intelligence maybe some faith so she can heal up just a little bit here and there i know that'll be slow going but you can level up i heard almost indefinitely here on dark souls so hey yeah, it does take a while during those later levels though Alright, now this is going to be an interesting armor set right here. If I remember, I think this is Iron Tarkus's set. Black Iron Helm, Iron Armor, Gauntlets, Leggings, and his Great Shield and Great Sword. Go ahead and check. I think that's Great Iron Tarkus. Which, if so, that is a pretty sad ending to his quest if he ended up dying here in the corner by all those throwing knife guys. Shame. He could have had the decency to die, you know, in front of a dragon or something. No. <laughs> the honor to die in front of a dragon. Not in front of weaklings, my word. Mahala won't accept him that way. Alright, no, no, no. I know, sorry about that. I'm scrolling. Keep scrolling, 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 keep scrolling, scrolling. There it is. Alright, here we are. Helm of Black Iron Tarkus. A knight known for his great strength. Built of a special black iron. We're learning about all sorts of new kinds of irons here on the stream, you guys. Iron Milkstick is just shaking with excitement over there at his house. He's like, hell yeah. 
learned about, what was it, Mariskite iron yesterday, or Marcosite, which happens to be a special white iron. Ooh, fancy. Uh, of course, the rusted iron, typical rusted iron that helps you walk on stuff pretty quickly. Now we got straight up black iron right here, built of a special black iron and providing a strong defense, notably against fire. So terribly heavy to be unwieldy to all but Takas himself, so another useless piece of armor dedicated for one individual specifically. So you put this armor on, you instantly become Tarkas himself. Alright, so it doesn't say much, you guys, it's just it's just Tarkas's armor. It doesn't say how he died, what he was really up to. I think he dropped his shield too, didn't he? Put shield there at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, die right, man. Oops. Die with some dignity, come on now. Oh, okay, shields are at the bottom. Oopsie. Um, just built of a special black iron, even heavier. Oh, even heavier than Knight Baron Kite's tower shield. It's especially resistant to fire, probably. Yep. And effective for shield bashing. Good, good, good. What about his sword, though? Enlighten me, game. I want to know what else there was to know about Tarkus. Who was he fighting? Where was he going? Why was he headed over to Priscilla's area? Were they friends? Acquaintances? Priscilla's a very lonely girl, you know. It's stated in her soul after you slay her. <laughs> Everybody's like, soul, that's messed up. I'm looking for the black... Is it a black sword or is it just straight up great sword? Oh, I think, yeah, I must have passed it. Great machete, great sword. Fachion! Chotel. Rapier. Oh, I guess it's gone. Huh. I mean, I have it, but I just cannot find it. It's one of the great swords, you guys. I forgot exactly what it was called, though, so now I'm like, uh oh. It's definitely not in the shield area. Let's go back to the top, though. Hurry up. <laughs> that feeling when you still haven't fixed your inventory, though. Dark Sword, Bastard Sword, Claymore, Black Knight Sword. Oh, okay, is it? It's just, yeah, it is just a straight up the Great Sword, huh? Okay, but there we are. One of the gigantic straight swords. Straight swords. One of the gigantic straight great swords. Very few have what it takes to wield this incredibly heavy damage dealing monster. Favorite of the Knights Baron Kite, known for their heavy armor, and especially Black Eye on Tarkus. Ah, so we learned nothing too much, nothing new about Iron Tarkus. I'm not sure what his mission is. There we are, see Crestfall and Merchant. He's the guy up in Sense Fortress. He kind of talks about him. Oh, there we go. Thank you for reminding me, Lightning. According to the Crestfall and Merchant, who lives in Sense Fortress. Black Iron Tarkus met his doom while attempting to visit Honor and Londo. Tarkus paved the way for future undead to venture through Honor Londo, as he is most likely the one who smashed the glass. Ah! I knew he had to be important. As he is most likely the one who smashed the glass window that allows players to enter the painting hall, since the rotating bridge is inaccessible. It is possible that Tarkus fell to his. Oh, makes sense. It's possible that Tarkus fell to his death as his over-encumbrance worked against him. Dude, I love that. I'm doing too, Daddy Dovahkiin. Thank you for asking. It's been a good night so far. We're getting some Lauren. Getting some stuff. Oh, you made it back, Mom? Oh, good. You snuck in. Mom here, you guys. Yeah, she's sleeping. Want to say hello to Mom's stream? <laughs> Mom's like, uh... <laughs> Woo! Hey, TOS appropriate, mom. That means terms of service. No, no showing skin. No, okay. That's good. Good? Good? Okay, good. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Ooh, we'll talk about it later, too. <laughs> mom, like, yes, 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 it's spill tea. Cool, you guys. Very, very cool. 
Oh, I know, sad frog for Priscilla. We'll read her little doll too. Little doll of a lonely child. I think that's Priscilla. I'm <laughs> so lonely, so fuzzy. Nobody to cuddle. Iron. I think if you touch a certain painting, you might be able to cuddle a certain half dragon priestess. <laughs> Oh, I guess so, huh? Oh, I'm just playing matchmaker now. Never mind. He's like, well, I mean, there's a, a big undead dragon over there. Oh, that's my brother. He can, oh, he can call my mom. <laughs> He's probably just, uh, he knew I was going to be in the house. Gosh, dang it. How, how loud and obnoxious! Get out of here, Facebook! Facebook foiling everything! Alright, decline. Nobody get any ideas. No. <laughs> Nobody call me on Facebook or I'll disable that feature. No. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Hey, but it calls it a pretty decent time, though. It is midnight 38, isn't it? At least over here on the West Coast. But that is amazing though, Lightning. So it makes sense. Because I was like, when I played the game by myself, you know, I hadn't read up on... Uh, well, I had heard lore, but I didn't read up on Tarkus's lore particularly. So I knew, you know, once you find certain bodies and stuff that contain the armor and all that, that that could have been their previous body that had died, you know, in a different life or whatever. Anyways, I didn't know how Tarkus died over here. So I'm like, man, that's embarrassing. He got killed by those painted guards. Ooh. It makes a lot more sense, and it's a lot better explanation um, what Iron's saying. He could have fallen, you see those skinny rafters that we have to walk through? Since Tarkus's armor is so freaking heavy, it makes sense that he might have gotten knocked down from the rafters pretty easily, fell to his death right there. I like it. I will take that lore. Anyways, Iron's trying to get Fuzzy Priscilla to cuddle Fuzzy uh, Stone Dragon over at... Uh, one of my favorite lakes, Ash Lake. Favorite places in this game. Yeah, mom's home. Yay, I don't have to worry no more. Whoa. Yeah, true. There is a dragon butt she could go and hug. Get some cuddles from a portion of dragon, I guess. <laughs> oh. Do I not have her doll yet? <gasps> bum, bum, bum. We need her doll. I think I remember how to get her doll. Iron, you're gonna see this familiar area. Uh, Iron Mugstake told me, it might have been a few weeks ago, it might have been a couple days ago. He was around this area. You have to go back to the second asylum, correct? Have we done that yet? I'm trying to think where we find that lonely doll. It's in the second asylum, right? Or the first asylum that we go back to? Oh, I know, right? Wah, wah, wah. We need like a next emote if we ever get a new emote slot, you guys. Or if I decide to delete one, we need the opposite of soulless hype. <laughs> soulless deflate. Wah, wah. Like one of those emotes that's like, oh, a sadness. Did I forget to, yeah, cause I could have sworn me taken him down already, right? Did I forget to grab the damn doll? How? Why? I guess. <laughs> I'm like, I guess. Hey, Chief Nikes! Chief Nikes coming in with the biddies, the bitty box. Thank you for that, Chief. I appreciate it. 100 biddies right there. Tying up with nothing but karma for first. Woo! Thank you for the biddies. Throw some love escapees in the channel. Biddies the biddies hype. How are you doing tonight, Chief? Or this morning? Afternoon, evening, wherever happened to be. Oh, he says Nikes! Oh my goodness, Iron, I haven't put those two together. That looks good. I'll be honest, I wasn't really, um, I was, I kind of like the purple blue color schemes and stuff, you know, kind of like the galaxy type colors, but I really didn't uh, pay attention to if I used the same color palette, and it looks like I kind of did, so that's nice. Good, good. Lore Master Lightning, dude. I really, really like that explanation for Tarkus. 
because I always thought, man, how could he? He had such good armor. How could he? Uh, he defeated my team guardian. Come on. Although true, once if you get a whole bunch of those painted guardians, those uh, enemies in white that throw daggers, if you get a whole bunch of them surrounding you, you can die easily. But I was like, Tarkus, come on, man. Um, okay, so I must have messed it up. I guess so. Um, where will we head back to? The Firelink Shrine? Yeah. I don't think we can straight up warp back. Well, we gotta go, you guys. I know, in order to access that painting, you need the... I'm not sure if it's called the little doll or the strange doll. You need that doll, though. That done messed it up. Hi, Vodka. How are you doing, dude? Long time no see, Vodka Hangover. Everything's been well. Hope nobody's hungover. Like soul, read the name. Username checks out. Okay, so in order to get back to the asylum where we started off at, we have to go up the ladder. I know I could have sworn this was like one of the first enemies in NG Plus that we went to go and bother after uh, the first spell team. Alright, then you go ahead and walk off right there. Right here you can go ahead and do a roll. I've tried to do that many different ways. I figured the roll is the best. Sometimes I'll jump off the edge and stuff. Okay, now let's go curl up like a ball and cry. <laughs> so sad. Ah, no. Oh god, a crow. No time for crying. No, um. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so remember when I told you guys that I went out on a date and stuff, kind of gave me confidence? Well, I started checking out uh, POF and all that again. And if you don't know what POF is, it's a dating site, plenty of fish. And uh, I actually got lucky escapees. I found... I was just, okay, I'll, I will, I'll admit, you know, I've kind of given up on POF and any dating sites for like ages, but... You know, since it's working out for mom, I kind of decided, you know, what the heck, might as well go give it a try again. And so I, you know, jumped on POF the other night, and ah, just messaging random dudes. Uh, usually I stay away from, like, really hot guys because, come on, you guys, I know I'm out of the league. Uh, I'm not as good looking as some of these really, really good looking people, so, you know, I tend to avoid messaging, like, the really, really hot guys. Well, I just threw a stone out there. I was like, you know what? I see a hot dude. He didn't. His profile didn't mention anything about video games, nothing like that. So I was expecting, you know, no response. So I messaged this dude and I go, you're the coolest looking person on here. And lo and behold, he actually messaged back. He's like, oh, thanks, lol. And uh, we found out we had some commonalities. He actually is a gamer. I'm like, what? That was pretty cool, Escape Beast. Um, as per usual, I'm not expecting too much, not putting any pressure or anything on anything. I just thought that was neat. Sometimes you can find people to talk to on the dating site. Sometimes you find a whole bunch of bots. <laughs> You're like, boo, I'm out of here. Or you get rejected a lot. I know I do. It happens. Or you have to unfortunately reject other people too. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's true. We have the rusted iron ring. We have two of them. This is NG Plus, our second playthrough of the game. Oh, thank you for reminding me, though. I'm switching back out before I get ripped off soul style. Yeah, see, we got two of them. Let me look to see if I have that doll. My soul of Priscilla is from my first playthrough, by the way. In case you noticed that, you're all like, hey! Was it? No, it might have been in keys, right? Yeah, duh. Nope, I don't think I have it, you guys. Yeah, but I thought that was cool, Harry. But this guy, oh gosh, I wouldn't be honest. He is, he's out of my league, not gonna lie. He's washboard abs, super attractive, got a lot of tattoos. I don't have tattoos. I have like ear piercings and cool hair and that's about it. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I thought it was cool. He knows about Dark Souls, so I was like, hell yeah. He plays RPGs like Skyrim, he used to mod out his Skyrim. Uh, what else do you do? 
spotted out fallout. And he happens to be only an hour away, so that's pretty nice. I <laughs> threw that guy off the edge. Out of here with you. Alrighty. Oh no! Oh yes, yes, that key, yes indeed. We do have that one, Lightning. I think, right? We we're able to open that second door, right? I hope. Maybe there is just a spot that I missed. We're gonna go check. You okay, tiny bruises? I don't know why she's sleeping over here, but she's sleeping over here. Last night she went and slept uh, on the bed with my mom. The little dog, the little neighbor dog. You okay? You sleep? Yeah, she's sleep. She's right in front of the box fan. It gives her that cool white noise. Okay. Oh, you're right! It is back at the area that we start at, right? I think. Where our character first begins the game. Geronimo! It should be right in our own prison cell. Oh! I got stuck. I got stuck. Oh, there's the tutorial. Just in case you done forgot how to... Yeah, there it is! I see it! I did forget it. Apparently when I visited this area the second time, uh, I guess my only, <laughs> my only concern was beating this guy, I suppose, and getting that rusted iron ring. Other than that, I didn't make a return visit. Guess I didn't feel any nostalgia for coming back to the main first area of the game. But yes, this is the cell where we start out. And uh, Oscar Restora drops that body with the key right in front of us. Peculiar doll is what it was. It's peculiar, quite peculiar. Alright, I believe it goes into the key section. There it is. A strange doll with a strange dress. There once was an abomination in the land who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly. And eventually was drawn into a cold and Just by clutching a doll, you say? Sad though, she was what, you guys? She had no place in this world. She was drawn into a cold and lonely. She was sad and cold and lonely, you guys. Sadness. Hi, Lusty Bard, how are you doing? Awesome IRL streams lately. What up, Lusty? Guys, if you haven't checked him out, he is an amazing caster. I actually lurked. Uh, in your channel the other day, Lusty, when you were playing, you were playing a really cool game. Uh, gosh, what was it? I think it was a game that somebody else had played before, too. Let me see. It should tell me. Oh, no, music and performing arts. It was a game. Yes, the beginner's guide. Beginner's guide, Lusty. Dude, stream is popping. Yeah, it was a cool, excuse me, it was a cool game. I had missed like the beginning and stuff, so I was kind of lost in the narrative, but uh, I guess it was about, it's like a game designer, you're kind of like in his mind or something, from what I got from the gist of it. It was badass though, Lusty, I was definitely listening. What up, cosplay, good to see you. Cosplay NHL in the house. Yeah, it was like thought provoking, I remember certain areas got really, really tense. Like, oh, what happened here? So we just had to come back really quick, you guys, to pick up the Peculiar Doll. It is in the very starting area of the game once you return to the Asylum. Asylum, it has another name, right? Insane Asylum. Demon Asylum. Second playthrough, Lusty, so feel free to spoil anything you want. Uh, you can tell me different advice, things like that. The only thing I ask of everyone is, you know, please don't be like, you gotta do it this way. Or sometimes, you know, a few peeps have gotten mad before where, uh, you know, they tell me how to play or they're like, use this certain sword and I don't use it, and then they get a little upset. That's the only thing I try to avoid. But I know you guys won't be like that. Second playthrough so far, Lusty. 
Unless you're counting my old, old playthrough on the 360 version of this game. And I guess technically this would be my third playthrough. But for this character in particular, second playthrough. NG plus. That's not a lusty thing. <gasps> Game advice. <laughs> I don't know, you're doing pretty well on Beginner's Guide there. Lusty, do you play Dark Souls also? And Harry Bishop, by the way, how's Bloodborne going? You still been playing Bloodborne? You switch out to a different game? Yeah, you love Dark Souls? Hell yeah, do you ever stream it and stuff? I like watching Dark Souls type streams. Um, I've been in a few lightning streams when he's playing Bloodborne. Oh, amazing. I have yet to catch his uh, Dark Souls streams. I've seen him on a little bit early though. Oh, you streamed it a lot years ago? Oh man, Lusty, I missed out. Didn't even finish it, all good. I do that with a lot of games. I haven't finished Sekiro or Sekiro. Mm -mm. Not that, you know, nothing wrong with it or anything. I just got back into freaking Dark Souls. I started playing Dark Souls again because I wanted to, you know, feel how it felt to keep leveling up whenever I wanted. And uh, what you can't do in Sekiro completely. And so when I started playing Dark Souls again, I got, you know, re-addicted to it. I'm like, oh man. Hello? I'm not gonna talk to him. He's not our friend this playthrough. Koth is our friend. Koth is the only one. Oh, okay. Now that I see this poor little bonfire here, it's all empty. I remembered another thing that we can go ahead and do. And what that is, is we can go and fight off. I think his name is Knight Lotric. He's the guy that's all in gold or brass armor. And he kills the Firelink Shine Lady to get her Firekeeper soul. See, that's what I liked. Oh man, poor Lightning. I don't want to bother him. He's probably in Lurk mode. Uh, but yeah, knowing a little bit more about Knight Lotric would be nice too. He is the dude that kills the Firekeeper at the Firelink Shrine area. I actually don't know what reason. I know he takes her soul, but like, what was he going to use it for? I wonder. And he does make his way over to Honor Lando. A plague innocence? What is a plague innocence? It sounds cool though, cosplay. I have not heard of it though. At least I don't think so. It sounds vaguely familiar, but I haven't heard what type of game it is just yet. But I have another game that I have been hearing of. If you remember Coley, yesterday she brought up Code Vein, and then a few other people in stream brought up Code Vein. It's like a quote unquote anime Dark Souls. And that got my, kind of perked up my attention. Got my ears perked. I want to say it like that. Hundred Years Wars game. Oh, much love, Lusty. Thank you for that. Speaking of that, you guys, we do have some awesome casters tonight. Lusty Bard. Ben was in here. Couple awesome peeps, escapees. I know there's more of you out there. Oh yeah, Louise, thank you for the raid. Oh, lightning, duh. I was like, I, I know there's one person I wanna get for sure. Yeah, lightning, if you guys wanna know anything else about Dark Souls that I might not have touched on, feel free to check out his channel. He knows a lot. Yeah, yeah, good stream tonight, you guys. Thank you for keeping me company. Woo. I know it's a bit later today, so I apologize for that. My fault. Um, I stayed up really, really late yesterday to like 6 a.m. And uh, just doing different stuff, you guys. Found out that Fullest Hype was approved. Our new emote was approved at about 5 a.m. So I was like, oh yeah, I got the, e the email and stuff. I was like, oh yeah. So I had to make a tweet about that. It took another hour. Finally got to sleep afterwards. Uh, nope, sorry. <laughs> Look at Andre, nope. Andre, my apologies. I always need to use your bonfire, but I don't need to use you. Like, how dare it. Let's go to... Yeah, let's go to Dark Moon Tomb. 
that's just that basement area. And uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go confront, we're gonna go invade somebody. We're invading an in-game character known as Knight Lotric, I believe. Or it might be Latrius. He's one of those. He's either Latrius or Lotric. And uh, he's just this real jerk that killed our firekeeper. I want to restore her soul. So I got to invade him and defeat him and his group of cronies. And we'll get that back. Yay! I hope so. Sometimes we die. Unless you're going to do any IRL this morning. Or what are you doing up so early? Go to sleep. Lestrius. Lestrius night, no trick. So Lestrius, Lestrius. Absolutely splendoriferous. Alright, let's elevator our ways back up. Oh, did I go to the wrong I did. I went to the wrong exit. That's fine though. <laughs> I'm running the wrong way. Running the wrong direction, by the way. Just to get some extra exercise, I suppose. Yeah, you too, Lusty. Okay, good. I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. No, I did the same thing yesterday, so that's why I'm streaming like super late today. I didn't want to break a promise and not stream on Saturday because I said I would. So, I, technically, I was here at about 11:30 p.m. I think was when we started. No, it was like 11, 11:14 p.m. I hope, unless it was 11.30, because I remember saying some, somewhere in the beginning of stream that we had 19 minutes left of Saturday. So I started around like 11.30 mark or so. Technically still Saturday over here. Yeah, 4 a.m. for you though. <laughs> Lusty stops talking about Lusty. Then who are we gonna talk about? We need to find somebody else to pick on now. Gosh dang it. Um, wait. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, I think I went backwards. Dang it. That's fine, though. We did need a bonfire. I could use the one downstairs that we warped at. I don't know why I started running back this way. Maybe because I was thinking firekeeper. This woman right here is also a firekeeper. Uh, she's pretty cool. We're not going to kill her just yet. <laughs> kill her later. Uh, what I wanted to do, though. And I could have done it at that other bonfire. I don't, there was no need, honestly, to walk this way, but fine if we did. Okay. Let's go ahead and reverse our Halloween. We're going to turn into our human form. <gasps> you know what? I don't think I even need to do that. I just remembered. I think I only need to use that specific item to invade their world. And you don't have to be a human to use this. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> well, we're human now, so... That's nice. Good flesh for no reason. Good flesh. Hello, Guy Gamesy. Guy Gamesy, welcome to the stream. If I did say your name wrong, feel free to correct me. I do that sometimes, and I'm like, I apologize. What up, Guy? Could be Guy. The French, I believe. Way to say Guy. Right, little snorkeler? I think she's trying to sleep. Um, if you missed the story earlier, you guys, neighbor dog is kind of our dog now. Long story short, because I told the full thing earlier, I don't want to bore you guys with that if you've already heard it. Long story short, we had a cute little chihuahua, she's known as the neighbor dog, she comes back and forth between our yard and the neighbor's yard, and there's a hole in the fence that they haven't patched up, it's on their side. Uh, our side has ivy and junk that I can't get to. So we go, yesterday mom goes over, takes the dog back, says here's your dog. Neighbor lady says, actually, we're trying to find a place to give away the dog. And mom's like, what? Because the lady's like, yeah, she's just a little bit of trouble. She's always getting out. Mom's like, what? Well, I guess we'll take her. Lady hems and haws says, oh, I don't know. You know, I got to you know, probably talk to her husband or whatever. And so mom's like, OK, leaves the dog there. Lady puts the dog down in her house. Mom comes home. Not 10, 15 minutes later, little neighbor dog is knocking on her door again. <laughs> So what did we do? We let her in. She slept the night. She's been here kind of ever since. We let her out to see if she'll go back to the neighbor's house or whatever. She pees in our yard, does her little business, sniffs around a bit. She wanders. Then she'll come back to our house. So neighbor dog, I guess, is kind of ours. Because low-key, it kind of sounds like they don't really want to bother her or bother with her anymore. I don't know, you guys. She's a super cute little dog, though. 
We kind of think she's missing a few teeth. We're thinking that she might be a little bit of an elder dog. <laughs> maybe she's like eight years old, maybe nine, seven, eight, nine. Somewhere around that. Like, that's messed up, Soul. You're judging her because she doesn't have that many teeth. <laughs> she's all like three or four years old. She just had, you know, some bad tooth decay or something. Okay, Gansy, that's what I thought. Welcome to the stream, Gansy. He's like, everybody says my name wrong. I apologize. Add me to the list there. You're good though, that's good to hear. Yeah, new dog left to barn. New little worker to add to the collection. Okay, so we don't need to go that way just yet, but I think I saw an item we might want to get. So we can go this way just for fun. Knock him off the edge. Oh, he didn't fall? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, hey! Oh! Oh, man. That guy got good. The chaos demon is gross. Nice thing about- ooh! Nice thing about that fight is that he had a nice wall so that he couldn't jump backwards like we like to do. His enemies like to dodge your attacks. Oops, did he kick instead? My bad. Okay. Good. You know what? Let's see if we can shoot this guy off. Sometimes you can. Yeah. Hey, it's the easier way to deal with him. Might as well. I didn't buy 500 arrows for nothing. I don't have five, 500 arrows just to look at them. I didn't invest 20 points into intelligence just to look smart. I wanted to cast spells. But I can't say that for my character because she's got like eight intelligence or so. <laughs> Maybe 10. Gosh, these ones are annoying, Harry Bishop. They do though, don't they? Those big flying demons are reminding me of him. Do you, huh, with that weird brain look or that funny face that they have? Scrawny bodies. I'm trying to think of nips. Scrawny bodies. Little loincloth. <laughs> Spindly legs. Like, alright, alright, that's enough. Let's leave them alone. Okay, I don't think I ever. Hello, kind giant. I don't think I ever robbed his chest. So I'm gonna rob his chest. Oops, sorry, sir. He's like, whoa. <laughs> Watch where you're sticking that sword. Okay, so he has the hawk ring. I'm assuming this might be Hawkeye Goes Ring. Let's see. Just going by the name. I know for sure it's the one that helps you out with your archery, though. Yeah, extends your bow range. Mm. Oh, it did. One of the special rings granted to the four Knights of Gwyn. The hawk ring belonged to Hawkeye Go, who led the great archers. Bow's boost range, oh, excuse me, boost bow range so that arrows fly like they were shot by Go's great bow, which took down high flying dragons, might we say. That's pretty cool because. Uh oh, am I stuck? Oh god. <laughs> I thought I was stuck for a second. Um, because if you talk to Hawkeye Go in the DLC, he's in Artorias' area. If you talk to. Hawkeye go, he does mention a blacksmith and says that the other blacksmith, he hopes, is doing well. And I thought he was talking about either, either Andre of Astora or this guy here. Now that I found the hawk ring over here, I'm thinking, probably talking about this giant. Hawkeye go is also a giant, mind you. He's a big guy as well. Yeah, which one did we say? Yeah, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. <laughs> Dude, I'm like that too, Lusty. Sometimes I'll play like a lot of the game and then I'll stop. Oh, Red Dead Redemption, because somebody spoiled it for me and uh, in chat one day. Uh, I was expecting it, so you know, I'm not upset about that, but I feel bad, you know, it's gonna happen later on in Red Dead. I'm like, oh, I'm fine with postponing that. I don't need to see that. How's my audio? Thank you for the raid. Ooh, oh, that's a big raid, escapees. 
big raid ain't come in. Good question as well. I wonder how my auto is. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. How's my auto? Welcome to the stream. Welcome raiders. Fellowship hype. Oh, also the Dark Souls player it seems. That's badass. <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. Such a tiny little workstation. He's all crammed, hunched over. It's kind of funny how we never really... At least I haven't really commented on how he's like... Like, god damn, this is hard. Hawkeye Go also hunches over like that. He's carving little wooden idols and whatnot. Yeah, their sound effects are all loud and annoying. <laughs> Screaming. Ah! That's exactly how I'm trying to do it too, Gamzy. So this is hitting me so much nostalgia. Beat this game and I learned all the lore. Then I even learned all the secrets. Nice. Got a buddy who mega muled this game to give me everything off of a fresh file he made, so I know the game really well. Nice, Gamzy. You've currently playing Dark Souls right now. Have any playthroughs open? Thank you for the follow too. We got a new follower. Thank you, how's my audio? Let's see. Oh, Bright Wolves, welcome in. Oh, there he is. Or she, good to see you, how's my audio? Yeah, how's you, how are you liking Dark Souls? First time, always the best time. That's when I fell in love. Thank you, Bright Wolves, for the follow. Thank you once again. Sorry if you, uh, I know how ads and stuff play, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna drop another. There we are. Yeah, feel free to follow How's My Audio, you guys. Random raid right there. That was amazing. Very, very kind. I do appreciate it. Ooh, is How's My Audio doing, you guys, on uh, Dark Souls? Where did they end? What boss were they on? We're going to invade right now in Honor Londo. So not, not invade PvP, but invade uh, the dude that killed our Firekeeper. That bastard. No. Thank you, Gamzy. You too, a new follower. Woo, appreciate it. First and second new followers of the night. Oh, Nito, Nito, that bastard. I hate his, uh, that area attack that he has. I won't backseat you or anything on you, but if you do, if you have any questions, you need any help or anything, uh, if I can help, I'll try to help as best as I can or somebody in chat might. But if you don't want any help at all, no worries. I do a, a no help run on Sekiro as well. I haven't finished it yet, oh no. Oh, on Lotric and the Firekeeper? It'll be worth like five chat messages. Feel free, Lightning. I like uh, talking about lore and listening about the lore. Alrighty, then I'll, whoop, I'll quiet down in here. How's my audio? That's really cool that you're at Nido, though. So that means that you've already accessed the... Or were you fighting Nido or are you just like anticipating that terrible battle? Because I don't want to say anything more and, you know, ruin it. Alrighty, escapees. Let's go ahead and get some revenge. But first, we gotta take down those sentinels, too. And I totally feel that how's my audio. I do that with Sekiro. I'm like, oh, please, no help. No spoilers, please. And uh, it's been... <laughs> it's been a battle, that's for sure. Because I'm not too... You know, I hate when I have to get all strict and stuff. I like the things run face, and so it's like, oh got to tell people about backseating again, GPH. Well, I feel you. Oof. Alright. Get over here. I'll use gun. Alright, there we are. One more thrust. Sometimes he drops some of those cool Dragon Slayer arrows. The big arrows. Okay, let's see, Lightning. There's the Black Eye Orb quivering. That is... Kind of a really, really light, well, in my opinion, it's a light hint for you to maybe use that item. Uh, it's easy to miss, because if you press the A button, I think it's gone, right? Yeah, you press the A button, or you just wait. It is gone after a little bit. Oh, I see. Oh, that's badass. So you have placed the Lord Vessel. He did the bed of, uh, the bed of, excuse me, the bed of chaos over down in Isolith. Oh my goodness, did you fight? I have to fight that centipede demon? Dude, I hate that fight. Without the lava ring? Oh, the orange charred ring? Oh, jeez. That's actually really, really good. So now you're at Sitha, the dragon. 
GG right there. Alright, I'm gonna, really quick you guys, I'm gonna read some lore that Lightning posted. Knight Lotric, the knight we're about to meet up with. Knight Lotric of Karim, also known as Lotric the Embraced, or Lotric the Guilty, when invading. He is a knight from Karim and a devout follower of the goddess Fina. Close to my real name. <laughs> Let's change the letter there. His ring of favor and protection he wears symbolizes the favor and protection of the goddess Fina. Ooh, known in legend to possess faithful beauty. His various pieces of armor, the favor set, explain that during his solitude he forsook, so he abandoned everything. For he believed the goddess's love was for him. The goddess's arms wrapped around the armor as if to embrace the wearer. Lotric will kill Anastasia of Astora, the firekeeper of the Firelink Shrine, after the chosen and dead rings both the bells of awakening. That's when Sen's fortress opens up, so she's been dead for a while, dang it. Uh, the players must hunt them down then, invading his world, and to defeat him to win back the Firekeeper's soul to restore Anastasia to life. That's pretty cool, I did not know that the Firekeeper's name was Anastasia. And she's from Astora, that's badass. Thank you, Lightning, dude, that's interesting. I wonder why he killed her though. I'm just curious, like, what, what was the reasoning? For that what did he need that soul for just to get to just to ascend maybe i'm not sure actually so now you're on the third and on it yep that's the one that dragon Ooh, that's a good fight how's my audio you're almost done with the game then hell yeah oh man what type of character do you play only if you're you know close to your keyboard if i ever ask any questions and you all are lurking don't uh, don't feel pressured Giants are nutritiously careful, nutritiously careful craftsmen, or notoriously. <laughs> uh, people have theories that some giants will spend centuries working on one small thing, as if to have it perfect as possible, says Gamzee. That's why most of the ones we see are working in Sen's fortress. When they have a job, they will do it as good as they can for the rest of their lives. <laughs> That's so sad, the boulder dropper. I pick things up. And then the Sense Fortress chain razor, poor dude. I'm just listening for that second bell any day now. <gasps> I heard it. <laughs> what if the second bell rings and the giant is up in, uh, and he's in the restroom during that moment? I can't, can't open the f door. No. <laughs> Taking a sh. Thank you for that lightning. Yeah, fellow lore man. Oh, Lightning, or uh, Anastasia is meant to be mentioned to be impure. She even says so herself. However, what exactly made her so is never revealed. Though it's strongly suggested by her comments on her impure tongue that's due to something she said. She's like, please do not speak to me. My tongue is impure. It's been hinted from the item descriptions that Anastasia chose her own banishment and even imprisonment. Her dinghy set implies that she was maimed to prevent escape. Oh no, you're good. How's my audio? Feel free. Thank you so much once again for the raid, guys. Feel free to check out How's My Audio stream. In fact, what am I doing, Soul Escape? <laughs> Let me go ahead and hit you with that follow button as well. How's my audio so I can check you out? Call you audio. You're probably like, Soul, you can go ahead and just shorten it down already. There we go. Thank you for that. Alright, gone with that follow button escapees. Excellent. Hope to catch you on your uh, final run with, uh, well, I mean, hope to catch you next time on Dark Souls. See, sometimes stuff slips out, I'm like, oh gosh. Oh, Black Knight Halbert, hell yeah, good weapon. Oh, it's been like a glass cannon build, nice. That's actually pretty badass, audio like to see that halberd action. Boy, you best know it, lore brothers! Or whatever you consider yourself. <laughs> lore sister, no. Just because she's seen as impure and he's got the goddess's love, he thinks he's all badass. Her soul may be the only pure part of her that he sees. That's interesting, actually. 
damn you, Knight Lotric. Lotric the guilty. Okay, so we got that little message on the screen that the black eye orb is quivering. That means we're gonna use that pretty soon. Uh, but I always like to, I don't know if these guys spawn in on that battle, but I always like to take them out just in case. I would rather not have any sentinels to fight <laughs> or to worry about. Lotric spawns in with like two of his best buddies with him, so he's got help. He don't need these guys. Oh my goodness, I was just about to go in. I forgot he was in Oh no, 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 gosh. I don't love Miracle of Light. All right, let me heal up. All right, let's get back there, you couple slashes. Ooh, that bleeding damage though, nice. 900 damage for that bleed. I like that. Poked her in, but that's what he gets. Alright, let's go for brother number two over here. Our last boss battle, you guys, was yesterday. It was Snow and Ornstein at that door behind me. So after unlocking, or not unlocking, but after defeating those two. Oh, he's healing you, scum! No healing! <laughs> no healing on my watch. He was able to heal because he had the damn shield. Which I can't complain, because I got a shield too. I got a shield as well. Okay, they didn't drop anything this time around. Let's go ahead and get into our inventory here. I'm gonna go up to the Black Eye Orb. It might be in this section, it might be in the other section. Go ahead and see. Which one was that one, you guys? Eye of Death right there, Dragon Eye. There it is, Black Eye Orb. Invade world of murderer. Invade the world of the murderer of the Firekeeper. Mystical orb found on a Keeper's corpse. Invade the world of the murderer of a Firekeeper to defeat the perpetrator and reclaim the soul of her who has been slain. The Black Eye keeps constant watch on the city. Constant watch, uh oh, watch out. Be careful when you go to the shower in Honor Orlando. Keep your towel in front of you. <laughs> oh, you should remember the keepers are considered lesser gods. As the true gods are those who protect the flame. I actually didn't know the fire keepers were lesser gods. That's pretty cool. Uh, the true gods are those who protect the flame. Who could have returned in a crusade? He could have. Oh, okay, I see what it is. Okay. As the true gods are those who protect the flame, he, Night Lotris, may have returned in a crusade to cleanse the heresy that there are gods besides his be uh, beautiful, beloved goddess. That's actually pretty interesting. He was fighting for goddess Asphina, or fighting in her honor, I should say. Goddess Fina's honor. <laughs> Lore Master Lightning. Oh, he was kind of also like a religious extremist. Oh! Doing as he believed what his goddess wants from him. That's wild. See, I'm glad that we're talking about this, you guys. Stuff I didn't know. I was curious. I'm like, why did he kill her for? I mean, I read, you know, some of the stuff, but... Sometimes! Like Black Knight Tarkus, or Black Iron Tarkus. Um, Oh, what I did there, you guys, was I used the item. So we're gonna go ahead and invade. You don't have to be human, I don't think. I just did that because I uh, forgot. <laughs> I messed up. I was reading chat and I decided to humanize myself. Um, that's actually really interesting. But yeah, like Black uh, Iron Tarkus, his item description doesn't really say much. You kind of have to go and talk to, like um, Lightning said, the Merchant in Sense Fortress. I forget his name again. <laughs> That dude, though. Look at that. Now I'm a demon. Or demon. I'm an invader, I mean. With the blue color. Like a mix. That's always a good thing, too. Alright, do I... I gotta walk up to them, or do I just shoot them? Let's walk up. Well, look at you. I thought you were wiser. I want to hear his dialogue outside. But I thought wrong. Tis a terrible pity. 
like... Say hello to Goddess Fina for me. ...glittering towards a flame. You fellows. Oh, no? gosh. Don't you agree? <laughs> oh, can I not use, um... Let me get a little space over here. Can I not use Estus in this battle? Not bad if that's so. <laughs> I would have taken better care. Let me get a little bit of distance. I'm going to see if I can heal up. Oh, I can. Okay. I could have sworn I was spamming X and stuff too. But for some reason, it wasn't, oh, it wasn't counting as me healing. Get that black magic out of here. Shame on you, magic user. Ugh. A dishonorable battle, my friends. Three on one. Heresy, I say. Heresy. Alright, I'm healing up, you guys. Oh, gosh, dang it! I knew it! I was just about to get behind the pillar and heal up. But John croaked right there, escapees. Ugh. Good fights, though. Good fights. Oh, okay, I was like, what happened? Yes, my phantom. My poor phantom. We don't you lose souls for that, right? Because it is an invasion. Ooh, that's interesting. Gansey says also there are theories. The black eyes are coagulated. Ooh, so like clumped together. Remains of a fire. Ooh, I didn't know that. That's disgusting. There's theories that the black eyes are coagulated remains of a firekeeper when they are killed and the soul is removed. That's disgusting. And I love it. I love dark stuff like that. Oh, you know what? Now that I notice that we do- Oh, we're still human! Praise the nine! Now that I notice we got 136,000 souls, let's go ahead and level up once. Um, I've been working on vitality. I know 40's the limit, but since it's gonna level on forever, I'm not really gonna change up my character too much. Uh, I don't really mind. I am going to the 50 spot. I know some weapons do require a strength of like 50 or so. So I figured, ah, good enough. I'll start uh, leveling up intelligence and faith one of these days, you guys. But it's not super, super important for this character. At least in my opinion. Okay, we're gonna go try that again. Oops. I know, and for a second I thought that we weren't able to use Estus for that battle, but you no, know, I guess I was wrong. I must have been pressing X when I was trying to attack or something. Aw, little neighbor dog Tiny Bruisers fell asleep down there. <laughs> she fell asleep funny though. Like half her body is on the blanket, half her body is just... Aw, she's so cute. But she is kind of doing a weird little thing with her eye. Maybe she's dreaming or something. Alrighty. Hopefully, though, I do want to... What time is it? Escape East 125? I do want to get to some kind of boss today. So I'm hoping we are able to... Enter into the... Hold on, you guys. I do have a message from my bro right there. I'll put mom's home. You were here earlier, my brother was calling the damn phone. Or, not the damn phone, but he was calling through Facebook. So you could hear the little th I was like, oh my gosh. Just come inside and look in mom's room, you'll see she's there. All right, try number two with the lovely Lotrius. I'm just gonna go ahead and run for it. And you know what, let's uh, mm, let's go to the right really quick. We still have those other two sentinels back there. They're probably mad. Smaller sentinels. Okay. He almost came up all the way too. Dying. I'm gonna use the black eye orb. Oh my goodness, did he come up? Yeah, I was like, he can't be. I was like, he can't be walking on the side like that. Not fair. It's bending the rules a little bit. I'm gonna use the black eye orb over here and see if it works. Who knows? I think it will. 
Hopefully the sen I've never tried it, so hopefully the sentinels don't spawn in as well. We are technically going into another realm, so we'll see. Hopefully we didn't take those guys with us, though. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Levitating giants, Harry Bishop, I know. Okay, good, good, good. No sentinels, excellent. Yeah, good luck, thank you. I'll need it. I'm just curious, though. Oh, can't do anything. I was like, what would happen if we were to try to leave? Oh, little bruises. She's rolling around down there. Okay. But we all know what he says. He's like, oh, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> he didn't say anything that time. So, here we go again. Oh, he remembers we were here last time. Will these lambs rush to slaughter? Well, let's get it over with. Oh, I keep forgetting about the magic dude. I know, my bad. All right, go, go, heal, heal, heal. Yes. Buster slave. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said that. My character ain't my slave. Oh, oh. That was just what happened to come out of my mouth at that moment. Okay. We're going over here. Hey, can I get a drop down? Drop down on this guy. <laughs> I think I did. Well, I tried at least. All right. Hey, Lotric. Get your friends out of here, Lotric. Especially that damn magician of yours. Oh, Jesus. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I was going to the pillar. Dang it, you guys! More green bar is needed. Oh, third or second death. They're gonna be the third try on those two. <gasps> you know what? I forgot to turn on the death counter today. Oh no! That's okay, because I think we just died twice to these guys. That's the only people that we've had. Hi, Internet. Welcome to the stream. Don't lie to me. It was so far away. No, I'm kidding. Thank you for the encouragement. Um, but yes, that is what I did forget. We've only died twice, just Lawtrick and Lawtrick, unfortunately. So we should be on 55. Do I do death plus two, I think? Nope. All right, there we are. I need to get to 55 manually then. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're all caught up, escapees. Close, but no cigar. Most of the- oh, sorry, I was reading it. I should probably read it out loud, huh? <laughs> Gamzee says, most of not all entities melt when killed. Firekeepers are connected to fire, and thus the natural force of the universe. And thus black eyes are that natural force trying to reconnect to a soulless man. Hence why they connect worlds, thus forcing it to take form while allowing any who hold it the ability to re reconnect the force, the soul, and the body to the single entity that inevitably made it a firekeeper. That's pretty interesting. That, the, that kind of actually gives some insight into, like, invasions. It gives a lot of insight into invasions in general. That connection, well, especially with firekeepers, that connection. Oh, you can set. Oh, okay, I see. Good thing I didn't go back to two when I put plus two. Oh, geez. Hey. I've tried to do that too, where I jump in. Sometimes we make it with like a hair bit of health. I'm like, ah. We won't do anything foolish like that on stream, though. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, try number three coming up with a little trick. Time wasters, you guys. We're supposed to be in the painted world. <laughs> Everyone's like, well, if you would kill them, what are you spending so much time there? The good part about this fight, though, is that since we are invading, we don't get to lose any souls. I don't have to worry about my humanity. Hold on. 
kind of like a free battle. I do kind of feel bad. Not really bad, but I feel funny because it's like Latrius or Latric, he knows that we're coming. Like you again. Oh god. Haven't you had enough yet? <laughs> no. Not yet. Gamzee says there's a theory behind Yeah, the red eye orbs too. No idea what it is. Probably something to do with the dark wreaths, huh? Oh my goodness. Okay, I was like, oh I hope I make it. Um the reason I say that is just because in I think isn't it both of the like Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3? Uh, both of these Dark Souls games that I played, you find the complete red eye orb with the dark wraith, right? I know in Dark Souls 3 you do. Because you have to go back down into that one elevator area after one of the peeps in Firelink Shrine gives you a certain Oh look, he's levitating again. <laughs> he dropped on his friend. Whoops. After some guy in Firelink Shrine I think Hawkeye, no, his name is not Hawkeye. He's got an interesting name too. I think it starts with an H, I'm not sure. Uh, he eventually gives you this item so you can go back into that beginning area of Dark Souls 3. Gosh, what was that called? It was like that outside castle area. Anyways, you take a, a ladder, or not a ladder, an elevator down and you fight a Dark Wraith and that's what gives you that red eye orb. And then in Dark Souls 1, in this game, where do we get the red eye orb from? I could have sworn it was another dark wraith. But I'm not sure. I forgot. I forgot about the red eye orb in this one. Okay. Try number three. Oh man, I wish me lucky, guys. This better be the last one. I am ignoring that mage. Either that or I'm killing that mage first. You really only have to kill Lotric. Uh, I know that because uh, last time I just went for him and after he died, everybody else disappeared. <laughs> They're like, all right. Maybe the Dark Wraiths were the first who learned of the connection of the worlds. Distortion of time learns a way to bend it. Because they do use the Dark Hand. They start stealing humanity and whatnot. Yeah, we got this. Invade another world, defeat the master of the world that you have invaded. Yeah, to acquire that humanity. The dark race of Koth use this orb. So they do use the orb to seek humanity and plunge farther into the dark. Perhaps they are more human than we. Maybe. Who knows, huh? Because why do they have the dark hand? Why do they always want that humanity, huh? Very interesting. Yes. Tiny bruiser. Little neighbor dog down there sleeping. Oh, that is funny as F. Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in on Snapchat. She had an arm in the air. She was sleeping with her arms in the air like she just didn't care. Y'all can't see that, but I'm gonna, I'm just throwing it on Snapchat with no caption or anything. <laughs> Random picture. Uh, long story, or just a quick story. My neighbor dog lives with us now. <laughs> I shortened that down, didn't I? Neighbor dog's living at our house. Details at 9 p.m. So, here we go again. Right, these lambs rush to oh man, I went after his friend. Well, let's get it over with. Alright, let's go after the magician. Ugh. The weird part too is I feel like I'm running, but sometimes I'm not running. My character's actually just walking. Like, stop walking. It's too slow. I need a full run here. Oh, you scum. Alright, let's go, 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 go. Oh, I got parked in the back. <laughs> no, my back. Indeed, another death. Another death was wrecked up first tonight, unfortunately. Oh, let me see you guys. Yep. Incited by the power of Koth, use the power of Dark Souls to absorb humanity. And 
an art shared by this weapon, which also acts as a special shield. The ancients, particularly. Oh, that's sick. The ancients, oh my goodness. Thinking of Nito and stuff. Just like reaches for you. Oh, my life. Oh, man. I thought that was the run, you guys. Oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to try to avoid the mage. I was going to go after him, but nah, probably not worth it. Hello, Darkfall. Welcome to the stream. Is that a welcome back, Darkfall? I could have sworn we had a Dark Soul the other day, too. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Time for the age-old cheese game. Time for just going after Lotric. Forget about those other two, huh? Huh, little bruisers. Forget about those other two fools with them. <laughs> They're gonna be like the main ones. The main issues, though. The mainest of the issues. How are you doing tonight, Darkfall? Welcome in. By the way, you guys, thank you for hanging out tonight. It is 1.38 a.m. for me over here on the west coast of the U.S. A little bit later, I usually stream... Mm, I would say kind of like in the afternoon my time. This day was a little bit of a special day. <laughs> Meaning I woke up late. I know I stayed up last night really late playing games and whatnot. Uh, finding out that our emote was actually approved and stuff. So that was good. But I spent way too much time up last night, so I ended up... Not going to bed until like six ish in the morning. So I woke up at like one p.m. Everything had to be pushed down. I was like, well, you know what? We'll just start streaming really, really late too. Okay, let's go, you guys. Out of the way, Sentinels. You know why I'm here. Maybe if I'm fast enough, I can use the item. Yes, do it. Hurry. Bother these guys while we're waiting. <laughs> Get one slash in. One slash for revenge. Okay, this is the run. This has to be the run. But it's not the run. No. It's 4 a.m. for you? Oh my goodness. What time is it for you guys right now? Y'all up late or y'all up early? I would say I'm up late at the moment. But even when it's like 6 in the morning, I'm like, yep, it's still late. I haven't slept yet. Okay. So time to cheese. Here we go How many times? I wish I could cheese if I knew how to cheese these guys. That would be nice. Don't feel like you have to tell me how to cheese them or anything. We'll get it, you guys. Don't <laughs> cheese them on the stairs. I'll get him. Yarrow. Take a shanking. Lotric down there, he's just chilling. You see him? He's just standing there. He was standing there for the longest time. He's like, I'll let my cronies do the hard part. I'll deal with her when she's at five health. I <laughs> stabbed his magician. There, I killed this dirty old mage. He just ran over his mage. It reminds me of yesterday with Simone Ornstein, you guys. I swear, Smo, the big guy, he kept using his hammer. Like, right, his hammer attacks and stuff right in front of freaking Ornstein, the skinny guy. And it would, like, move his character out of the way. I'm like, thanks for the help, Smoke. <laughs> Oof. Alright, just one more swipe, I think. Yeah. Oh! One more swipe, and then I completely mess it up. Ruin it. Die honorably! Cut to the foot. See, and I think we don't gotta worry about that guy. Target destroyed. Got the souvenir of reprisal, a dirty old dried ear. Oops! I'm all standing there like a fool. <laughs> Uchi Katana, the weapon that I use. I am using the Uchi Katana. Uh, this character that I'm playing doesn't really have a specific build or anything. Um, when I started her up, though, I went full green bar. Yeah! And I decided that I wanted to use bleeding weapons. So Googled up some bleeding weapons, found out that the katanas were actually a uh, weapon that had bleeding damage on, or a few weapons that have bleeding damage on them. But that actually started up with the 
Morning Star Mace. I noticed that that had bleeding damage, and I really enjoyed fighting bosses and seeing that whoosh, big old chunk of health pop out of them. Yay, we did it, you guys! Victory! Woo! Man, that took a while. That should not have taken that long. <laughs> that should not have taken that long. Should have done that the first time. So we got the Firekeeper's Soul, Ring of Favor and Protection, like Lightning and Gamzee were talking about, and some humanity. Five humanity. Good. Makes up for all the humanity we gave to... Uh-oh, the Sentinels are still there. Uh, makes up for the humanity that we gave to Quailon. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and read the Ring of Favor and Protection. Let's go ahead and refresh on some in-game lore as well. We'll see what it says. This is my NG plus run, so that's why I'm not uh, doing a blind run or anything like that. Ring of Favor and Protection. A ring symbolizing the favor and protection of the goddess Fina. Known in legend, like Lightning and Gansey said, to possess fateful beauty. This ring boosts its wearer's HP, stamina, and max equipment load, but it breaks if you ever remove it. So that's actually a really, really cool ring. No wonder I was like, how come I'm not wearing that? I remember now, it's the one that breaks if you wear it. <laughs> hmm. Now that I have two, I might not be too uh, worried about using that. That's kind of cool. Use one of those, oh jeez. One of those rings every playthrough if you feel like it. Body shots over here. Oops! Miracle of light. Oh my gosh, we went and shanked each other. Oh, come on. Oh no. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> I went for that green shot, then I was like, get out of there. See, I love fighting those guys. They give you an easy 10,000 souls. We have to. Oh crap, I forgot about the uh, Black Knight, Silver Knight. Whoever has that great bow up there. Quite obnoxious. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and as well. Alright, so after this, you guys. Uh oh. Oh, they almost got me. We're gonna start heading into. In fact, let's go now. Bye, Silver Knight. Bye, other Sentinel. We're gonna start heading into the painted world of Area Mist. And we'll continue, hopefully, until we reach Priscilla. I'm not sure. That might take a while to clear out. I like to be kind of thorough when I do go through new areas. Um, which means going a little bit slow. Yes, I like to kill each enemy at least once. Then we can bypass them like we did with the Sentinel. But that goes too. The only thing is, I just don't want to stay up until like 5 in the morning. I mean, I do want to stay up at 5 in the morning, but I know, you know, I won't wake up early if I do that. Not good. Oh, let me see you guys. I missed the chat right there. It is! Dude, it sounds amazing, Gamzee. Literally the best ring in the game. I know, I'm like, how come I'm not wearing that? And it's like, oh yeah, that's the one that breaks if you take it off. I forget that you can also get, uh, you know, a second one on NG+. Plus. And a third, and a fourth, and a fifth. One each playthrough. Oh, so it is? Okay, you're on the East Coast too then, Gamzee. Oh man, 4 a.m. for you guys. 9.40 for Harry Bishop, he's up in the UK. <laughs> Let's be real, there's no cheese. The Zegwinder? What is the Zegwinder? A lightning Zegwinder. Lightning says my Zegwinder. Oh, I see that. I see what you did there, Lightning. Yeah, we did it, Harry. Woo! High five, you guys. Oh, you know what? That wasn't really a boss, but take some extra soul gems. You're always earning soul gems in the chat as long as you're following. They allot themselves automatically. Five every five minutes. Or sometimes I drop soul gems just randomly like that, too. What? I have never... Ooh, a plus three ring. That's badass. Um, I've never heard of that Zygwinder. I've heard of the Zweihander. Zweihander? Did I... I think I did. Did I warp to the wrong spot? Hurry up. I need to see something. Take that. Take 
Oh my goodness! Hello there! <laughs> Didn't realize his neighbor was gonna pop on by. Two neighbors? Oh, you jerks, come on. One neighbor's enough, man. I was like, but I wasn't the neighbor, I was the cousin. Okay, let's see if this ledge gets us close enough to the floor. <laughs> nope, that's gonna be a drop. We can test it out by throwing a prism. Prism stone, which I don't use very often, but might as well use it. I think we've been collecting a few just randomly during some playthroughs. All right, this will help us decide. That means we will die. <laughs> that sounds means you're gonna croak if you fall, so let's get out of here. Oops. Since we're here, okay, so what I forgot right here was to go down the stairs. That's what I forgot to do. I'm gonna walk off the edge since I know that we don't croak now. We do lose some health, but... <laughs> was that a dung pile? Yes, it is. Did you see that dung pie? Quite a few of them dropped, believe it or not, Harry Bishop. Uh, over it. God, I have 37. Yeah, a lot of them drop. You find a lot of dung pies in Light Town. There are some enemies that you find in the swamp or that poison pestilence area. They're rolling up some literal S-H-I-T. They're rolling up some literal poop. And they throw that big boulder at you. Those are the enemies that end up dropping dung pie. What does it say anyways? Atrocious fecal waste material. Good God. Throw it at an enemy to build up toxins, Jesus. But also builds up your own toxicity because why would you touch that? Although the stench, ugh, makes it difficult to carry on one's person. Turning an enemy toxic inflicts high damage over a period of time, apparently. As you can see, I got 37 piled up, and I'm just fine. No, I'm kidding. Uh, got 37 piled up. I have never used a dung pie in this game. I've never made an enemy toxic before. Kind of interesting. Maybe we should throw some dung pies at a boss. <laughs> oh no, throw some dung pies at Priscilla. Rip. I know Iron would be mad, he'd be like, damn it, soul. Lightning would probably be mad to see that too. How dare you throw dung pie at Priscilla? She is queen. I made a mistake. I know, I thought we were rolled down, but I guess we gotta roll down one more level. We might have rolled up. Oops. Okay, good, we went the right way. Say I didn't roll up, that would be sad. <laughs> Lightning, I heard that! I know, I was like, we should do it! And while I was thinking of the next boss, I'm like, we should do it at the next boss. Who's the next boss? Oh yeah, Priscilla. Throw some at her. <laughs> Gamzy, I'd laugh. I would too, low key. So you guys saw me go through these uh, enemies before. It'd be cool if we run through them. I mean, I don't know if we'll survive, but we're gonna try. So what we're gonna do now, you guys, is enter the painted world of Ariamis. Just picked up the doll from the second visit to our asylum. Good, yeah. Screw those other enemies. <laughs> F them. First time when I was playing this game blind, uh, on stream, I was actually kind of not really tricked into going in here, but kind of tricked into going into this area. Somebody just randomly told me in stream, they're like, why don't you go check that painting, soul? I was like, okay. You know, because it was a blind playthrough, so I, you know, I didn't ask why. Why should I check that? And it was a blind playthrough, so I shouldn't have taken the advice. But I did. I was like, oh, I'll go see what's up with that painting. Got stuck in the painted world for like years. Couldn't warp out of it. I was sad. Like, no. The Zegwinder is a great sword that you can pick up. Uh, if you put, I have never found the Zegwinder. That's pretty cool. I have the Zai, uh, Zwei Handler. My hander, I should say. But uh, I've never found another Z named sword. That's actually pretty badass. 
Literally breaks the game with this guy, Gamzee. Probably spelling it wrong. Oh, okay, it's the spy hander then, right? I believe it, dude. This this sword is badass. I used it for one of my... I'm not sure if it was Dark Souls 1 or my Dark Souls 3 character, but I used it for one of my characters. And then I switched out to just the regular Black Knight sword. It was a little bit faster, I think. Less range, though. I believe it, dude. Putting lightning on this one. Oh, that'd be amazing. Mario 64 jumping through the paintings. We go into Paper Mario, everything's 2D. No! Alrighty, tidy. And I will be honest, I did try to warp back to uh, my own world by falling down this area. <laughs> I was like, well, it's worth a shot. Ah! Or not, didn't get his back. Oh man. Yes, we're stuck here. But it is good that we're in here, and it's good that we're human, at least for the moment, because there's an invasion that goes down in the Painted World. I think it's the guy that has the Xanthus crown too, right? That big old huge, weird, long, cat-in-the-hat looking crown. Hat. Another strange spot is when I was messing around off stream, I found like a strange area. I don't remember if I found any items. There it is. It's off this beaten path here. I don't know if it leads anywhere. No, I think it just goes back to this other side. Okay, just making sure. That might lead somewhere, like a secret that I just haven't discovered yet. I don't know. Or like when I see messages like these put on top of seemingly unreachable places, it leads me to one here. There's some kind of secret over there. Alright, few enemies. Not unlike the enemies that we see over at the Undead Asylum. Ooh, got both of them. Nice. Iron's other favorite enemy, the crow people are coming up to. Grab this item. I think it's a humanity if I remember correctly. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. That's the one! Yeah, the Zweihander! Oh, high five, Gamzee. Badass sword, dude. Badass weapon choice. You take it to the giant smith and turn lightning into it, then it's busted. Just a tip for everybody who doesn't know. I do not know that. I know that lightning is good against dragons in Dark Souls. Uh, so as soon as you said that sword with the lightning attack, I was like, oh, I mean, that must be amazing. And, get some of these dragon related enemies here. Like see the other dragons like to hang off ledges. Leave half of their bodies <laughs> behind. Oh I remember who's around. Yeah these bloated freaks. These guys like to blow up as soon as you uh, kill them and stuff so you gotta get out of there fast. What's the point you? you don't want none of that. Ugh. That feeling- Oh no, I stayed there, that's what I get. I was just about to say that feeling when you were- <laughs> When you have such a bad headache that your head expands that far. So okay, now we have two lore people in here. I have a question, you guys. That noise that I hear in this building? I don't know if you can hear it right now. There's like a noise that I hear in one of these buildings and it's coming from an enemy that I don't know about or that I can't get to. And so it trips me out, dude. I remember mentioning it last time that we were here, but there is like a, it seems like an area that either you can't get to or you're not supposed to get to, I'm not sure. Hurry! Okay, there you go. Heal a little slow on that one. I guess I didn't notice that either, Gam. So I don't know if it's me, but the bonfire here seems to burn brighter than any other. Man, I'm toxic now. Toxic is a little bit worse than being actually poisoned, I think, right? If I remember correctly, some of these crows are gonna fly over. They probably wait till I grab this, though, huh? 
Hello? Surprise, surprise. Oh, there they are! I knew it! I knew you were coming, lady. Do they take so much damage? They're HP soakers. I'm over here waiting for my stamina to fill up again. Oops! The lady, stay in one spot! Sexy body, though. <laughs> Kidding, you guys. Actually, let me turn this lady over. Yeah, they do have some nice booties. Enough of that soul escape. <laughs> Enough of that nonsense over there. Let's get the other guy with a headache, if we can. Oh, yes! Shot him through the window. <laughs> like, who the hell is that? Hi! See, I could have sworn I heard like a wolf howling in the background. I don't know. Oh, okay. we'll continue forward. Clear about that area. See, you hear that? It's like a growling or something like that. We'll see if it's anybody we know. I don't think the undead make that noise, these undead. I don't think they're howling or growling or anything like that. Tablet, hold on. I think it's a mushy mang bang in his head. <gasps> is it? The one that maybe it is, huh? The one that gives you that special he doesn't attack you and he gives you like a special spell, I believe. Right? Painted worlds of Arian Mist and Arian Dell. They're technically the same world, but they're painted by their respective. Same world, but like different parts, right, Lightning? I did play some DLC on Dark Souls 3. He's getting louder and louder. There's a rat. The rat's not making the noise, though. Another rat over here. Soul of the Brave Warrior. We can just use that to get extra souls, extra experience. it for that area. I don't hear the growling anymore though. <laughs> Maybe it was the mouse, or the mice I should say, making that noise. No, I could have sworn it's, it keeps going on afterwards too. So they are the same world but they're different painters. Oh, and different paintings. So like same kind of geographic location but just different looking I guess. I think we're done with that area. Oh, Fuzz! Oh, good thing I have my shield up. Who was that? Show yourself! There you are. I see you. I'll get you. Oops! Maybe I'll get him if I aim the right way. Sad, he puts one last arrow in it. Like the arrow to remember me by. Well, we're already toxified, so we don't have to worry about rolling away. Ooh. Oh, jeez, right into the fire. Oh, my goodness! Oh, no, no! Where did you come from? Oh, the roof. Alright, let me pop out really quick. Ooh. That down, I'll try and remember that that's down there. What happened here? Oh, probably fought somebody. <laughs> oh, I hate that ricochet that bounced off the wall. It happened. Hey, is that guy? Look, you guys. Some dude's clinging over there. Right in front of us down below. He just wait for somebody to walk on that other ledge. Shame on him. Shame on him, Seamus. <laughs> so please. The booty soul trying to flip over the crow lady. Oops. 
late night, man. Y'all know what happens late night here on the stream. We go 18 plus. No, I'm kidding. We go PG-13 here, escapees. Bubble butt on that woman asking it. Oh, I thought you were talking about the crow lady. Hi, bubble butt. The actual bubble butt's in here. Good to see you, bubble butt. Look lively, everyone. Bubble butt's in the stream. And we're talking ludity. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Welcome in, bubble butt. I was like, yeah, yeah, that thing did have a bubble butt. True, true. Oh, I mean, hello. Happy Sunday, bubble butt. Welcome in. I know bubble. I know I said it last time, too, but I know bubble from... Jesse James, this channel, Jesse James 142. Ah, made it. Full of a brave warrior, yet he died dishonorably. He was disgraced. I should leave the message, you guys. Try finger, but holy. Uh oh, I almost walked off. <sighs> Another egg vermifuge? What the heck is this doing here? This is the item that we needed to cure that maggot head that we had. Or whatever it was called. Egghead? Egghead that we had. That disease. Bitter sour chestnut removes the parasitic egg from your body. The egg bearers have chosen to serve the flame of chaos. So those crazy bloated people down with uh, Quailan and Quailog. And the egg symbolized this selfless choice. Naturally, these chestnuts are forbidden, but they are allowed under special circumstances. <laughs> you get a little bit too bloated. You're like, oh, I, I gotta pop one of these egg vermifuges. Oh, you're waking up. Hey, good morning. No, I feel you. That's how I was the other day, too. Like, I wanted to go to sleep last night, but at the same time, there was a lot to think about. Tried to go down that way fast, you guys. I swear it's this. Oh man! But I've been getting into trouble because I've been playing a little Dark Souls 3 as well, off stream. And so here in Dark Souls, right, you press the V button twice to go down fast, correct? In Dark Souls 3, if you press the B button twice, it ends up, uh, your, your character lets go of the ladder and just uh, falls all the way down. So I've been having some issues with that. You see me forget to slide down the ladder. Probably because I've forgotten to do that since I've been punished on Dark Souls 3 for pressing it on accident. Alright, so around this area I'm hearing that creature again. I'm trying to clip my camera into that wall. <laughs> I wanna know what creature it is. No, the camera's not clipping. Dang it. More mice. that also drop humanities now and then. If I go in here, I see nothing still. But I hear that noise. Finally, we're not toxified anymore, too. Good. I don't know. I do not know what makes that noise. <laughs> it's a dog. Is it a dog? I'm gullible. I'll believe it. It could be a dog, but it's like on the other side of the wall. I don't know. It's an enemy for sure. That's on the other side of this wall or the other wall, but I just for the life of me cannot find that damn creature. Maybe there's a part of the painted world that I've missed all these times. All right, we'll continue on. I think we've pretty much cleared out this area, right? Yeah, everyone's there, we knocked down this body. I hear two of them. Yeah, it must be something, you guys. I don't think it's important, because I do hear more than one now. I'm thinking really quick, too. I know. I feel like I've missed something on that first tower. I do see that. 
Yeah, I think I did, didn't I? Let's go back to the first tower really quick. I know, see, I do like to be a bit thorough. I hate having to come back into areas later on and being like, oh crap, like what we just did in the beginning of the stream where we had to go back to the undead asylum. I was like, oh no. Not that I hate it, but it's just a, a little bit of a pain when you have to backtrack. You're like, I was already there. Oh, thank you so much. Is it my voice and the camera weren't synced up and stuff? Yes, feel free to let me know about that. I apologize. That does happen. Yay, thank you for that. It bothers me too, trust me. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Eggs, that's what a coincidence. That's what I'm eating, says Bubble Butt. Oh, no, eggs are good. What is that? Oh my goodness. I was like, is this some kind of enemy that we need to kill? Oh, jeez. Think of my nightmares right there. I've never seen that happen. Rat's face clipped through the wall. I'm gonna shoot it. Let's see what goes down. Oh, <laughs> nothing. That is strange. That's creepy. I think it's just a, a little glitch. Yeah, a little glitch. See the body, it's moving. Little glitch on the other side of the wall right there. Let's do one of those jumping attacks. Oh, can't reach it. Very strange. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get back up top over here. Uh, how do I get back up there? Other way, I believe. Yeah, on the outside of this side. Outside of this side. It's to the outside of that side. Trying to get to this little ledge that's got a nice item on it. I think it has an enemy on it too, but I'm not sure. She could be a dead enemy. Couldn't resist the crows. We had to come back, didn't we? Okay, see. So, okay, good. She's dead. I know, I was like, I don't know if this lady's dead or not, but <laughs> she's still here. Twin humanities, good. Dual humanities. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my god, no, no, no. Wait. Oh, man, we just kind of jump cut into... I don't know if we actually kind of shortcut into this area, but we got into it. Oh, jeez. Theory doesn't come till later. Oh man, now I don't know which direction to go. I lost my I lost my compass. Oh no. Dark Souls randomizer now. Now we're all thrown off. Hey Pokemon fan, welcome to the stream! Don't worry, fellow igloos. I'm here to help. Igloos? It is hot over here. <laughs> I'm like a sweaty igloo, a melting igloo. Maybe that. Melting igloo. A bubble. Oh man, my hair, if you notice that black part, that's my natural hair color. It's been fading out. Been fading out, escapees. What else are you doing this morning, bubble? Yeah, 10.1, hell yeah. 10.1 hype. I'll take it. Yeah, welcome to Pokemon. I could use an Ookaloo to cool down. Definitely. Oh, okay, so I think, isn't this the spot where we can open the door, maybe? Uh-oh. Oh no, I know this spot. I hate this spot. This is another area that's a big old pain in the butt, you guys. We went through the catacombs with Nito. We haven't gotten to Nito yet because we hadn't placed the Lord Vessel. We went through the catacombs to get to Pinwheel. Um, oh, and we had to go through one of my most hated or least favorite areas in the game, which is that spin and bone wheel area. So here's another spin and bone wheel area that might be a thorn in our side. 
Yes, the wheelies. That's a perfect name. I love that. Them wheelie bastards. So I'm gonna try to lure one out at a time. But I know what happens when I have all seven of them. Lure did you? Yes. <laughs> you seem to be mistaken. We're all waiting. I hear a whole bunch of noise. A whole bunch of racket. I know the old fuzz! Oh jeez, that's the dead one, right? Dang, he scared the crowd out of me! Woo! Good, 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 good. Oh. Oh, geez, can't turn your way away from the screen, or can't turn your face away from the screen for a second there. I get more jump scares out of these damn games, these Dark Souls games, than I do out of, like, layers of fear and all that. So once you kill the first couple of them, it gets a little, little teeny bit easier to kind of bait them out and stuff. But if you fight all these guys at once, oh, what a pain, dude. Can, though. I just prefer not to. See, like, even when I'm trying to attack him, he's still, <laughs> he still does a little bit of damage. That extra wheel back there, extra spikes. Igloos are not meant to be used for personal gain, says Pokemon. Darn. <laughs> Gosh dang it, then why did I pay all this money for that igloo? It was supposed to be here by tomorrow. Get a big old bucket of water. This is your igloo, ma'am. God damn it. <laughs> he was right. This wasn't meant for personal gain. Alright. Uh, I think. Is that the only one left? Oh no, duh, there's the one in the sunlight, of course. Well, back in the day too, when I was going through this part blind, um, I thought that that enemy, I couldn't see him very well, so I thought this enemy right here was actually an NPC character. Till of course, I used my binoculars. I'm like, oh, he's a wheelie too. He's a wheelie bastard as well. I didn't want to shoot him for the longest time just in case he was, oh gosh, one of the NPCs. Another reason I don't like fighting these guys is because the camera gets a little crazy sometimes. Especially when there's more than one, the camera will like jump around and have the, uh, the option. Auto lock on. Soul of a proud knight! Yet he was disgraced here in this swampy, swampy sewer part. He got killed by wheelies! That's not very brave or honorable. No, I shouldn't laugh though. I got killed many, many, many times in this area. Okay, and there is a little shortcut here. Let's see what the message says. Hidden path? Oh, uh, yes. So behind this hidden path, more wheelies. But first, let's go ahead and turn this handle. I think this opens up the door of stairs? It doesn't lead to Priscilla's area, does it? And maybe it does. Maybe we just shortcut it a whole bunch. That'd be badass if we just shortcutted a big old chunk. Carol the Cleaning Lady! Wow, thank you for the host, Carol the Cleaning Lady. That's sick. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I like your name. Feel free to check her out, Escape Peace. Obviously, when it's a she, uh, feel free to check that stream around if you want. They're hosting us up. That's pretty badass. Thank you, Carol. And once again, thank you to that reader earlier. Uh, Who's my audio, right? No, how's my audio? Who's my audio, Soul Escape? Thank you once again to how's my audio for that amazing raid earlier, too. Surprise raid! Thank you, Carol, I appreciate that. How are you doing? How's your, or, uh, yeah, how's your stream going? How are you, uh, liking, I guess? Dark Souls, perhaps? Let me throw down a fellowship and spy. See what you're playing, Carol. Oh, Elite Dangerous. How's Elite Dangerous treating you? Yeah, well. Alright. What time is it now? Like 2.15? Good, good. We're doing good on time. Oh, jeez! You're wondering why I went back. It's because I just kind of willy-nilly showed myself this area. I didn't know if the wheelie was going to come after us or not, so I'll brace myself and move here. Maybe not. Oh, oh, he's looking. Oh god. Oh, okay, good, good, good. 
follow him a bit. Drop your shield! That'd be awesome. Does anybody use the bone wheel as a shield in this game? You can. And supposedly, you know what? Let's try that out. Supposedly, because I have read it before, the description. Supposedly you can spin it around as well. Wheel of Fortune style. Ooh, excuse me. I have actually not yet tried it, so let me see. I'm curious. There it is, bone wheel and shield. Oh, that's cool. It's huge. That is awesome. You can't parry with it or anything. There we go. That's how you spin it. Look, I'm going to try to spin and hold or press and hold. Because it does use up some stamina, apparently. I've never tried this before either, Iron. Morning, Carol. Ah, this game gives me a headache. I had to take a break. How far did you get in, into the game, Carol? I've... 100% feel it. I honestly, sometimes I have to go back and level up before I fight certain bosses. Oh, I pressed and holded it, or held, I should say. Pressed and held the button. Even if you're holding it, it only spins a little bit. That's kind of cool. Enough to spin it like three times. I don't know exactly what that spin would do to an enemy, but hopefully it's something good. You know what? Let's try it out on the bone wheels themselves. Mine as well. Alright, where am I at? Is this thing really, really heavy? Am I gonna roll super slow? Kinda slow. Honestly. You're just waking up too. Good morning, you guys. Hope you have some good coffee, good breakfast, like bubble butt. I'm thinking about those eggs now too, bubble butt. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> I also love food, so don't feel like you don't gotta talk about it. I do like it. There. That's how I was too in my first playthrough. Before I started up looking uh, started looking up lore on Dark Souls 3, the one I started on. I honestly had no I knew we were a cool medieval looking character. And I knew we were fighting through areas for some reason, fighting other knights. Yes, yes. Um and fighting big bosses. I didn't know anything really about the big bosses. I didn't know why we were fighting them. I didn't know much of the storyline. And uh, yeah, after going through Dark Souls 3 for a bit, when I finally took it off the stream, which means I usually play games like about a week or two blind when I first first started up. And then after that, I'm like, okay, now I can play this off stream. I can kind of learn a little bit more about it. I still try not to spoil stuff for myself, but I try to learn the mechanics. And during that time, I started reading about at least the beginning part, the bosses that I had seen. I kind of started getting an idea. Oh, I see what's going on now. We're undead. We were brought back to life to make a bonfire. I didn't know why, but I knew that that was the goal now is to get this bonfire lit. But yeah, I feel you, Carol. Oh gosh, I had no idea what was going on in Dark Souls 3 for quite a while. <laughs> I just knew we were a knight. Uh, some kind of cool medieval looking character and we were fighting big bosses and small enemies and clearing out zones Getting some souls and stuff. I didn't know how to make boss weapons or anything like that Thank you for the lurk Harry. Very good to see you tonight This morning I should say No, it is tonight, isn't it? Oh, you did have one on the Xbox too. Nice. I did the same Dark Souls 3 now on Dark Souls 1 I have beat this before, so don't feel like uh, anybody in the chat, if you want to spoil, don't feel like you're spoiling or anything. I've already seen the game. I know it's coming up next. That's cool, Clara. What else do you stream? She just uh, hosted us up, you guys, but I thought that was pretty awesome. What other games are you into? She's got Elite Dangerous that she's been doing. Oh god, no! Yeah, I bypassed him. I passed a little too far though, huh? This is kind of like, this area right here does have some bone wheels, bone wheel enemies. But it's kind of like a little labyrinth. The reason I'm going through this area instead of exiting out that ladder that we just saw is because you do find a key over here. The annex key. Let me go ahead and read it. So what I also learned too in this game is that you find out a lot about the lore when you start reading item descriptions. Thank you, Bubble Butt. I appreciate it. 
Thank you so much for the host, Bubble. Oh my goodness, how could I I totally forgot that you were a streamer? What have you been streaming on, Bubble? Let me spy on you too. I've been slack lacking escapees. Oh, have you not been streaming? Maybe Bubble's not a streamer. I know Jesse does have a couple of casters, uh if I remember Fenica. If I remember that name correctly, Fennec, Fennica. I seen that person, Damon, Damon Fennica, maybe. I seen that he was streaming uh, one of these mornings, I believe. Maybe I confused you two. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for the host bubble. Much love. I know. I was like, I could have sworn maybe I was thinking of Damon. I saw somebody else from Jesse's channel, besides uh, Mystic Zenith or that one dude. Besides him, I saw. Damon Fenica, if I have his name correct. Anyways. Thank you, Bubble. Hey, well, if you ever do start streaming, let me know. I always encourage people to start casting if they haven't. I'm very socially anxious in real life, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm super, super shy in real life, you guys. So, like, just being able to open up to the camera, it's open up, like, an amazing world. So that's why I always say, dude, try out streaming if you haven't. Just, if you don't like it, you don't have to ever continue. If you do like it, hey, it might be a new hobby. Especially if you like gaming. Oh, okay, so you don't stream too often? That's still cool, Carol. I'll try to stop by as well. Um, if I see you online, though. Oh my goodness, it's Consuela! No, no. Me, sir, me, sir, Griffin, no, here. No. <laughs> Loving that profile picture. Wow, your account is older than mine, too. Carol's an OG, escapees. 2014, my account's a 2015 account. Oh god, I feel you. Uh, my first streams, I've been streaming for about four years. My first ones, I was like... And that was my first type of stream. <laughs> I would be like completely silent, so into the game. I was streaming Diablo 3 at the time and uh, hardly any interaction escapees. Of course, of course, you know, chat was going a lot less frequently. So I don't know, but after the years, I just started watching casters myself and started to think, you know, like, what are they doing differently? I suppose what happens when they don't have a chat talking to them? Well, started noticing, oh, a lot of streamers just start narrating what they're thinking. You know, how, how are people supposed to know that I'm quote unquote interesting if I say not a word, you know? So I started kind of like opening up slowly, slowly, slowly. But yes, if you do check a few of those like super old archives on YouTube, oh my goodness, I was like so quiet, just completely into the game. There would be a few people in chat, I'd just answer their questions like, hello, Cheddar. Hi, Cheddar. Hope you're doing good. And then just back to the game. Every now and then I throw an occasional like, oh, or you know, like some kind of grunt or whatever when I'm fighting or, oh, if I lost or something. Um, I remember in one of those VODs, I'm talking to my mom <laughs> off the stream. I don't even know what she's saying. She's saying something and I'm just answering her while I'm still streaming. I'm like, oh, geez, good times. <laughs> but yep, that was me. <laughs> Am I watching my streams with Carol? Oh, you're good. Not, and also, I'm not making fun of people that either you guys it was just a uh... oh shoot i'm gonna die too 
There we go. <laughs> uh, no, well, that's just an example of how I was too as a caster. I was very, very quiet. I was very shy. And then uh, as soon as I started talking and opening up, 100% you guys, we started, I started seeing a difference. People would start to, hey, how are you doing? Even if I was just all by myself, you know, two viewers or whatever, talking by my lonesome, there would be people that are coming in. Some of them did ask, you know, who are you talking to? I'm like, oh, I'm just, I'm just honest. I'm like, oh, I'm just narrating and stuff. Honestly talking to myself, but if you want to stick around and listen, feel free. Met a couple of friends that way. Uh, so what was I doing? Oh, I was just getting rid of the shield, wasn't I? And I'm like, what was I doing here? But yeah, sometimes I do miss streaming old school. That's why I do stream strict gameplay to Mixer sometimes. What I mean by that is that I stream just the screen over to Mixer. There's no camera, there's no headset, there's no soul escape pretty much. So it's very, very quiet. Good stream if you want to just have it on in the background, know what I'm doing and, and all that. So usually we don't get too many viewers on those casts. Yeah, that's fine. There we are. That's why I stream it to Mixer so I don't <laughs> so I don't stream it to Twitch. People will be like, get out of here, I'm following. Get, get out of here, so I'm unfollowing that. My VOD confirmed. I bet your VOD are, are amazing, Carol. Don't even say that. Carol's all like an excellent streamer. Have to be with the profile picture like that. Got some shoes to fill. Those are Quinsuela shoes. Quinsuela is a very popular woman. So this guy up here that I killed, I didn't say anything about him. Oops. Um, He's the guy, maybe, that everyone was talking about that was banging their head. Lightning and Gamzee saying that there was a dude, squishy guy, banging his head. He is a squishy guy that was banging his head against the wall. And he also doesn't attack you. Dropped a special item, and because I was doing my little thing over there, I kind of... I just skimmed it, but I wasn't really reading it. <laughs> so what, what, which one was it? Anybody remembers? I forget. arrow, heavy soul arrow. White dragon breath is the one you get from Steve, I think. I actually don't remember which one he drops, even though I just seen it a couple minutes ago. I don't know. Probably the, did he drop the poison mist or acid surge? Probably one of those. You know how these enemies are. Alright, but regardless, we're probably not going to use that have the spell we're not gonna use. Checking for some secret walls. I don't think there are any around here. Nope. Good. So I was debating on whether to go up these stairs or go up that ladder. I'm glad we went up the stairs. Oh yeah, and we got the annex key, right? I read it, but it was all quiet and stuff. So what the annex key does, it's just it's a key to the annex. Key to the annex in the painted world of Ariamis. In the wintry painted world, there is a structure resembling an old cathedral. Its annex serves as a type of storehouse. So they say. I think we cleared out all the bonies. The wheelies. <laughs> the bonies. So I think we're safe to head up. Well, right there. And if I'm not mistaken, isn't there like an item around here somewhere? Should be an item somewhere. But to get rid of that toxin, you can also use the Bloomin' Purple, I believe. Nope. Bloomin' one. Not the regular Purple Moss. Purple Moss regular is for regular poison. Bloomin' Purple Moss is for the toxin, the harder poison. I'm going cautiously because there's going to be a, you see right there you guys, there is a spot with a lot of enemies. It is a huge pain in the butt to get through them. Once these guys are awake, oh, what a, what a hassle. After a while, there has been a playthrough where I killed them and stuff. I just took the time to take them out one by one. Um, but I'll be honest, on my other playthroughs, I kind of just ignore them. Like, ah, you guys do your own, excuse me, you guys do your own thing. All right, I have my humanity. Have I died yet? No, okay. Wait, I checked that. Is my skin still smooth? Yes, for the moment. Alrighty. 
Oh god, they started moving! Oh crap! The reason they're a pain in the butt, you guys, is because there's so many of them and they keep throwing those damn spears. Every time you get hit by a spear, it staggers you. Oh gosh! Hold your horses! And you see a woman is opening the door. And they're like, yeah, we don't give a fudge. That's our first shortcut right there. Our first non-accidental shortcut, I should say. Alright. Yanzi says this bonfire looks a lot brighter than the others. It is fully uh, kindled, so it's a... What do they call this? Like a plus... Plus three kindling? The one that gives you 20 Estus. Oh, I took too long with that heavy attack. I did the thrust, you guys. It took forever. Honestly, though, we did... We took an accidental shortcut. Did I fall off the edge or did I roll off the edge? I don't know how I did it, you guys, but I ended up rolling or falling and going down into that wheelie bone area. That area wasn't... We weren't supposed to get to that for a little bit, at least, so... The shortcut is actually kind of a best thing here. Uh, we can go straight to Priscilla now with that annex key. But I don't want to do that because I like being thorough, so I'm going to actually go back. Uh, let's let's try to go back a little bit quickly, though. Meaning we won't, you know, bother any unnecessary enemies. A lot of them are going to be necessary because they're in the way. Oh gosh, like this guy. Definitely necessary. Didn't see that guy back there. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite weapon, broken straight sword. I'll use that to clean my teeth later. Oops! Gosh dang it. <laughs> that guy burped. Gross. Burp the other direction. At least they excuse me. This guy is using his toxic breath. Low fire! Alright, we'll make a beeline, we'll go this way, take out the guy with the bow. See the pain, see that item down there? It's like stuff I don't want to use. Okay, so it does, okay. It takes only one slash to kill these guys. Oof. Do it the right way, not that way. There we go. I keep doing an extra slash on accident. You know what? Let me heal. Alright, I got more gaseous friends over here. Notice how I'm trying to roll so I don't have that disgusting toxicity. We're not trying to conjure any system of down over here. Let's get rid of those toxic effects. The thing about their gas is that you'll become toxic. It doesn't even take any extra time or anything. Yeah, alright, so here we are. This is where we need to be for a bit, I think. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm like, whoa, hold on. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything up here. Yeah, shortcut hype. We got a shortcut iron. Thank you guys for being here. I know it's late, so, you know, if anybody passes out and stuff, premature good night, everybody. It is late, it is early. If you're waking up, good morning. Oh, fuzz. Supposed to jump, but you know what? Now that I shamed myself by rolling off, I'm just leaving. I'm leaving embarrassed and shamed. Here is one of my favorite dragons. This is the dragon that me and Iron were talking about earlier. The half dragon. Right now, I think, let me get a good look at his body. Uh, right now, I think, oh, that I missed that item completely. I had seen it before, but I forgot about it. Just turned the corner and started walking away. Okay. Uh, these are the dragons also, or as well that are found in Isolith, I believe. But just their butts, though, are left behind. That's kind of cool. I can't really make out. I'm trying to make out his body. Oops. I can't really make it out. I know, of course, there's the head. 
wing. Oh, I see his tail. Did you see his tail move? Oh, it actually moves. Huh. One doesn't have a safe. Oh, my camera's in the way too. There. Fix it for you guys. You can see his body a little bit. Very interesting. He's got a wagon tail. I had, that's just something I hadn't noticed. <laughs> I know his tail gets left behind and I think it kind of, or his whole butt gets left behind. It kind of sways, doesn't it? Maybe he just sways the whole time. Okay. All right, I'm just checking this area right here. Yep, there's an item, but it's on that side. What a pain. And we'll go in through this middle spot. There should be some crow ladies, right, right? Yeah how much damage I can do to them if I shoot them with arrows. I think I saw her walking up. Okay, wait, wait for me, lady. Get to a good spot. Oh, gosh. Wait! Yeah, got her in the leg. 105 damage? That's not bad. Took a little, little bit. Not too huge of a chunk, but a little bit of a chunk got taken out of her health. Thank you, new follower! Woo! Oh my goodness! Oh! Do follow hype escapee! I swear to hype it up in a minute. Oh fuzz, dude, she scared me. Oh no, there's one behind me! Please tell me she fell down. Okay, she fell down to the bottom ledge, like the one right under us. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was about to get shanked in the back. Oh god! New follower hype, woo! Welcome to the full stream, thank you. I appreciate that. Woo! We got another follower, our third follower of the day. All right, let's continue. I'm actually gonna see if I can drop down on her. Or did she just start chasing us? Where did she go? Oh, she might've gone out that window too, huh? Well, I thought I was done for. I'm like, oh man, I went off the edge. There we go. I see a dead body. That's good, that's good. There should be like a ring or something up here too, if I'm not mistaken. Another crow! More crows! Ooh, what is this? Be wary of a gorgeous view, indeed. So this must be one of those items. One of those items that I can only get once, huh? It's like a red eye orb or something like that. Probably something that we've already had or picked up. But yeah, that that little body right there is supposed to be. Now this lady, I always try to shoot her and stuff. She never really does anything. So I don't know if she's glitched out or if she's just a special character can't access. Probably glitched, but I'm gonna go with special character. Psychotic says, no, the fro! Crow people need to mind their own business. Crow people just want hugs. Well, wearing clothes like that, or not wearing clothes, I should say, I think they want a lot more than hugs if you're asking me, but, <laughs> but we'll go with that. <clears throat> Catch my drift. No. <laughs> I'm just... Lightning! Yeah, them harpies. Harpies' wings. Harpy wing demons. Alright, I'll go ahead and head back down. I'm curious though. There's that lady, the one that went outside on that side too. I don't want to fall through just yet. Okay, yeah, because we can get through through here, huh? Cool. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Come on, lady. Oh, no. There goes all over health. Oh, okay, get through. There goes my beautiful, nice, good flesh. Good flesh hath been wrinkled. Dang it. Another death has been occurred. Disappointing our ancestors, one death at a time though, unfortunately. Is that Mew right there? That's a cute Mew! Alien Mew! 
Oh, that's, of course, that's the streamer's name. <laughs> Just like we have that damn spliss part in ours. The S O U L 3S. Oh man, well, there we go, you guys. No more humanity for us. And right before we got to the dragon, too. No, I won't stand for this. No, no, let's stay in human for a bit. I was gonna say, I won't stand for this. I'm turning back into a human. And then I didn't. Mm, we're going back the other way, though. Regular way. If only I could bypass all of these enemies. I'm gonna try it, let's see. How many souls did I have? I'm actually not even sure how many souls I had on me. I'm guessing it was probably in the higher... Higher tens of thousands range. See, I should have bypassed that dude too. Oh lord. I got my glove in a weird in-between fight. Oh my god, the other guys are following. Okay, go, go, go. Just go, just go. Oh my goodness. Don't you people have stuff to do, bloated heads. Don't you bloated heads have deities to pray to. Okay, we're back to where we need to be. Yay. Oh, my soul. Oh yeah, we had enough souls to level up again. Hell yeah. Alright, I'll get this guy. Kind enough to follow us out, I might as well honor him by battling. At least I could do. When I was using a character with a heavier weapon, man, every time I fought one of those guys, I'd be toxified. It was that slow Black Knight greatsword. Alrighty, I think we're good. My favorite part! Here comes the dragon! Here comes the first! Run! What a big dragon! I wonder if he brought his whole body with him. Well, that's something we'll know next time. We'll find that- oops! find that out one day, won't we? Oh! <laughs> Big ol' whip right there. Oh, there you go. Left side. So this is the way I do like to fight this guy. There's three directions that he likes to bomb it in. Left, center, or right. So you can hang out in the center, you can go hit him on the right side. Wait until he does it on the left. Oh my goodness, I got stuck in there. Beware, because he does that. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'll swipe and stuff too, so. Oh, that was another attack. They're resting. He's like, all right, now I'll do some slime. I think he's about halfway. What I glanced at. You can also shoot this guy with arrows if you want to. I stayed for the greed attack! Greed! It was worth it. Get out of here, dead body! for some more attacks, but weren't safe. And if you have any different techniques that you use to beat this guy, let me know. I'm curious. Aw, may he rest in peace. My big half dragon. He actually dropped something for us too. That's kind of cool. See you later, big half dragon. Large soul of a proud knight. 
Lost his life though. Dragon scale. I'm not sure if it drops it every time, but that's cool. It probably does. And the blood shield. Here's where we got the blood shield. I've been using the blood shield this whole playthrough. It's so uh, that's one of my favorites. It is. I I used to like the grass crash shield a lot because you know stamina regeneration and stuff. But I recently got into using the blood shield. Oh, thank you for the follow. New follower hype, you guys. Fourth new follower of the day. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream, and I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good morning or a good uh, late, 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 late evening. 2.47 over here on the west side of the U.S. 2.47 a.m. Oh, yes, the blood shield. Let me look at it really, really quick. I'm curious. Uh, what it does, though, it gives you a lot of... Well, not a lot, but it gives you some boosts on certain stats. The blood shield spoken of in the Lost Legend. The red of blood is slightly enhanced and boosts various resistances. Now if I switch it out, you can see it on my screen. See those little dots and squigglies and stuff like that? I'll go ahead and tell you right there. So it gives me some resistance to bleeding, that top icon, that middle drop. Let's get that drop back up. Oh, it switches up, huh? That splat icon is the bleed resistance. The purple teardrop is regular poison. The black teardrop is the toxic poison, which is a little bit more fierce than regular poison. And it also gives me a little bit, that skull down there, that is curse. So this shield gives me a little bit more defense on curse, toxic, regular poison, and bleeding damage. That's why I like to use it a lot. Now here is the other part of the dragon, the part he left behind. Dude, when I saw this the first time in the games, in Dark Souls games, I was like, oh, yeah, that is amazing. It's disgusting. I love it. That means that that dragon was rotting and just a nasty old corpse. He was brought back from the dead or something. Makes sense. You know, Gwyn killed quite a few of the dragons. There's only a few left in the world, supposedly. All right. One of them being Seath, one of them being Calamite in the in the DLC, and just a few Wyverns and Drakes here and there too. Oh, I should have jump attacked it, huh? The one like that? Oh, just for some extra power and stuff. Or maybe even like a hard thrust would have been better too. Just I know a lot of people. Um, well, my friend specifically, Quivery Room. I know he likes to shoot those dragons, the one next to the Valley of Drakes and the one here. He just stays behind and starts shooting it with arrows. Sometimes it takes like a hundred arrows. I'm like, geez, you got some patience, man. <laughs> he does the same thing with that dragon tail. He's the one that showed me how to do that. The dragon tail on the bridge, or the drake or wyvern tail on the bridge. One of those creatures. Okay, so there are supposed to be some crazy crow ladies around see them just yet. Is this door supposed to be open? Who opened this door? It wasn't me. Yeah, was, this goes to Priscilla, right? I didn't open her door. Maybe just because we turned that special statue, the door opened by itself? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this side. This leads back to like that bonfire area where all my favorite enemies are. And I'm gonna actually hit a left, or take a left, and go into the annex. Cause I did forget where this was. Cause I thought this was gonna lead me to Priscilla. Apparently not though. Hmm. This leads me into the annex, which is a cathedral-like area according to the description. Now where does this cathedral go though? Oh, I see, this goes to the other side. I'll show you where it connects in a bit. Right here is where it connects. Let me, get, let me get this dude first. Oh, I forgot to roll away. I have to deal with that poison for a bit. So if I go this way, I break down this wall. You'll notice that that is the item that I was trying to get to from before. Velka's rapier. But I wasn't able to reach it though. So you have to come through this side too. Who's screaming? I hear lots of screaming going on. 
Also, if you do open up the annex on this spot, I remember now, uh, there is an emblem. I think it's right there. But, uh, remember we didn't kill the enemies from before? Now we're going to Christ. <sighs> Notice how all those crows left? Might get a surprise around here. Hey, is that a secret spot? If it is, I actually... Let me see. Oh, no wonder. I was like, you liar. Oh, crap. That's what I get. <sighs> Fell for a message trap, escapee. Leave it to me. Leave it to me to fall for some damn message trap. Get out of here, crow woman. <laughs> I was like, wow, dude, I'm so gullible. I was like, wow, I've never seen this, uh, what you call it, shortcut if there really is one, but no, there's not. Dang it. It does really look like there would be. Despair ahead, truth, man, truth. And you know what? You get a negative for that. Passive aggressive, yeah. Okay. So you saw that crow lady drop down. I think once we grab this, there's another trap where another crow lady's gonna drop down on us. Oh, jump attack the dragon? Okay, I'll go back, lightning. There's the dark ember. Dark ember, I believe you get to guy downstairs. Let me go ahead and read the dark ember though. I know, it doesn't seem like I'm in a safe spot. To be completely honest. I will go back and jump drag uh jump attack that dragon though, because I'm curious now. I wonder if his butt falls off. What if I fall off the ledge though, lightning? No. <laughs> He's like, I wouldn't lead you astray like that. Wink wink. Uh, uh oh. I just heard some nonsense back there. Looking for the dark. There it is. Dark ember. Ember required for weapon ascension. The church long hid the forbidden black ember. And no living blacksmith knows of it. Sends your plus five divine weapons to occult weapons. Shame on you, occult. Occult weapons can also be reinforced with plus five. Cult weapons were used to hunt the gods, oh no, and are effective against their followers and kin. Oh. Interesting. So if you're fighting a god using a cult weapon. Okay. Thank you, Andre of Astora's dead brother. <laughs> Deceased brother. Alright, we're gonna head back up, I think, or can we go this way first? There should be a way to get back up there, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go out. And we'll see if we can go jump attack the dragon's butt. Oh, there he is! I was wondering where you were, fire spitter. Okay, up here is also a little bit of a dangerous spot. Very dangerous area. Beware of lying in ambush, indeed. Head ahead! I'll leave that. Don't know what that means. Oh! There you are. <laughs> There's one of you. One or two of you. Oh jeez. Man, she spiked me hard with that wing! But those feathers made of steel? Oh, freaking steel feathers! I do every day before I start the stream. <laughs> I found myself to stay silent. I break it every time. Secret right of the black-haired witch Velka, which we found her rapier. We'll go ahead and read that next. Prevents the casting of magic within the affected area. Shame on you, magicians. Velkis, Velka, the goddess of sin, is a rogue deity. She's rogue. She lives by no person or god's rule. But she is quite versed in the arts, both new and old, and is considered to have a great range of influence, even as gods are concerned. Even though she's a rogue and she totally went her own way, man, people still respect this lady. Alright, so that's Velka right there. Let me see about her. Rapier. Let me check my health just to make sure. Okay. I know I am a little bit toxic right now. 
Toxified, I should say. In fact, you know what? Let's get rid of that toxicity. Oh, did somebody pass on? You can do it. You can do it, ghost. That's why I like playing online. I do like seeing the ghosts of other uh, players in the world running around. Sometimes you can catch them when they're dying. <laughs> it's sad, but it happens. I bet some people have probably seen me while I was dying as a phantom or a ghost form. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, Vilka's Rapier. Vilka's Rapier. So Velka is the, uh, she's the goddess that I know, what's his name, next to the first spell? Uh, that guy that's like this, he's like T-posed the whole time. Uh, she is the goddess that he serves. And I know in Dark Souls 3, if you find the statue of Velka, you're able to do your own sin cleansing. Uh, there's a special word for that that I can't think of right now. Uh, and in this game, Dark Souls 1, that dude that I was talking about up near the first bell tower, he does the sin cleansing and stuff for you in this one. All right, am I looking at Velka's rapier? No, I'm not. I have a Twitch bar that's in the middle center of my screen. So that's why I look over to chat sometimes when I'm reading. Because it blocks out just a little area right there on the on the screen. Oh, I must have passed it, huh? Where do you want? Oh, there it is. Metka's Rapier. A symbolic, powerful thrusting sword used by the pardoner. There you go, she pardons your sins. A pardoner serving Vilga, the goddess of sin. There's no mere symbol to be sure. The Pardoner is an inhuman sword. It wields this enhanced blade with special sword techniques. Sounds fancy. I have to try out that special sword one of these days. I wonder if we could roll down there and survive. I won't try it though. Okay, now we can go and do what Lightning said. He wants us to jump attack the dragon's butt. I am curious. <gasps> Blue, what's up, Kid Gray? What are you doing up late? You're actually, you're probably up early, huh? 2.59, 3, 4.5. Yeah, it's about 6 in the morning. Good morning, Blue. Good morning, Pernstein. A good midday, I should say. I know, right? <laughs> I was wondering when I could finally say that. Now we're finally in Pern's preferred time zone. <laughs> good to see you, Pern. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Happy midday. We finally caught Pern during a decent part, or during a decent hour, I should say, or a decent part of the day for him. Okay, so we're just leaving the annex right now. Lightning says, "Oh, interesting might happen if we pork this dragon butt in the butt." Oh, wrong way. <laughs> no, not that way. That's the boss area. We only have, as far as I know, we only have one more thing to do besides this. And that is fight an NPC character uh, that shows up. And we have to be in human form, though, to do that. Too bad we can't just fusrota in this game. Ooh, thank you for the follow. Fifth new follower of the day. Welcome to the Soul Stream. Once again, you guys, thank you for all the hosters as well that we had today. We had a raid. Raid from a new friend that we met. Yeah, the day is saved. I know, Pern. I've heard Doc Savage has not been streaming lately. I know Jedi streamed today. Yay. Uh, Doc Savage hasn't been streaming. He's usually one of my go-to people uh, besides Man vs. Game to listen to at night. I haven't been able to hear his voice either or his laugh. I miss it, Pern. go. This is for you, Lightning. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, dude! Oh! That scared the crap out of me, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh, take off! How did you find that out? Dude, that is crazy. Is that just like a weird glitch or something? Oh, it is a weird glitch, huh? <laughs> That is so cool! Holy snap! Lightning. 
100 soul gems in the stream for that. That blessed my day. <laughs> that blessed my day, namaste. That is cool, I had no idea. I was wondering, I'm like, I wonder if you can attack this thing, I don't know. That is cool. So this really is one of those weird dragon butts that you see in Aizle. just so weird that it's not attacking us too. That's cool. I <laughs> shoot it in the butt. Yeah. Shoot it in the non-existent ribs. Guardian booty. What a guardian booty, huh, Prince? I wanted to see what happened if we did it twice. <laughs> if you do it twice, so you'll fall off the edge. Okay, that's just what I wanted to see. Cool lightning. That was worth it. 100% worth it. Learned something new every day. Uh, so I believe last but not least, let's go back. We have a humanity that we gained, luckily. I'm going to go return my character into her human form. And we'll fight an invader. And after that, we'll go after Priscilla. And I think after that, you guys... If we're able to kill her, I'm pretty sure we might be able to, you guys. She is a little bit scary because she goes invisible. I know, I've never really liked Priscilla's fight. Uh, not only because, you know, she's a cool character, I don't want to kill her. She's optional, of course. But, she does drop a cool weapon if you cut off it. Scary battle, though, in my opinion. <laughs> Guardian booty. Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and beeline over here. Try to make it out to the front door. Humane myself. Yes. And then we're going over to the annex area, but we're not going inside of the annex, we're just going to this right area of the that's what I assume that spot is called. Oh no, please! Okay, I was like, I just used my humanity, don't let me croak. Well, you know what? I should have leveled up too while I was at it. Darn it. I regenerate these damn enemies again. I'll be killing them all night. So I've been just working on vitality for a bit. So we'll max out the vitality. So at least it's given us a little bit more HP. I know a lot of stats stop maxing after 40, so we might as well get a few into vitality at all. Okay, so around this area, you have to kind of be quick. Kill these peeps. And somebody should invade. I think it's the guy with the Xanthus crown. That weird, huge Dr. Seuss looking hat. We'll know soon enough, though. Scary ambient noise. <sighs> like, does this area have a, a soundtrack or no? Let me see. Or is that just weird breathing? I think it's just weird breathing. Strange ambient noise. Probably to signify the maybe the souls of all these guys that died here. I'll be honest too, Lightning. I don't know too much about the painted world of Ariamis, like the lore and stuff behind it. For example, you know, why all these maybe there was a war going on or something in the painted world, like you know, why all these bodies are impaled. Who knows? But this is another important area of Dark Souls that I've. Uh, kind of slacked off on more wise. All right, let's grab some stuff. A lot of proud knights losing their lives here. So it seems. Some weird box cages. Interesting. Oh, King Jeremiah. I think this is the guy we're supposed to fight. Yeah, it is, okay. 
You see, he's got that huge Xanthus hat. That ain't no club, you guys. That's his hat. Like I heard you were making fun of my hat. Oh, he's got the fire whip or some kind of cool whip. <laughs> Bye, King Jeremiah. See you next time. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Excellent, excellent. Good, good. So he can take his dark power. Gives us the humanity up there on the top left. That's very nice. And then we can also take it. Notched whip. Ooh, notched whip, you say. Another cool item that I was looking at. Because remember, like I said, I like the weapons. At least for this playthrough, I like the weapons with the bleeding damage. So notched whip. That was one that I checked out too. Because whips do have bleeding damage, I believe. At least the ones with the spikes and stuff. Whip. Let's see if it tells us anything about King Jeremiah too, by the way. I know that he's a Xanthus pyromancer, correct? Supposedly they took off in search of some kind of knowledge. Oh, did I- duh, I'm not in the shield area. Did I pass it? Where's the whip section? Oh, it's in the back. Past the plus 18 sign. A whip with sharp spikes. Only slightly effective against armor and tough scales, but quite formidable against enemies with exposed skin. Also causes heavy bleeding. My favorite part of that. How much is heavy though? I'm curious. Uh, 300, same as the Uchi Katana that I'm using. Which reminds me, I should probably repair this damn weapon before we go into an actual boss battle. Heaven forbid it breaks on us while we're trying to fight Priscilla. <laughs> Didn't that happen yesterday with Smo and Ornstein? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, not again. Yeah, we got a whip. Hey, Jaybear, good to see you. <gasps> Morning, Jaybear. I missed your entrance in there. I'm sorry. It's just the wind then, huh, Pern? I'm like, what is that sound? Oh, the wind. But for some reason, I think only this area has that ambient sound like that. Gross. Just to make it seem creepier, maybe. Maybe to hint to the player to go in human form. I don't know, I'm not sure. See? Sometimes if you don't go around the corner, you can miss out on everything. Acid Surge! Another pyromancy. And since it's a pyromancy, could be King Jeremiah's pyromancy, I'm not sure. Pyromancy foreign to the Great Swamp. He meets acid, which corrodes weapon and armor. Not all pyromancy originates in the Great Swamp. One hears rumors of an unknown pyromancer inhabiting various lands, and this spell is the work of one such outlander. Maybe it was King Jeremiah's spell. Not all pyromancy comes from the Great Swamp. There's rumors of other pyromancers in different lands. Maybe this one comes from a different one. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> well, thank you for that beautiful description, Dark Souls. I believe that is indeed the last area that we need to check on. Now we can go, you guys. We can go meet Priscilla, see what she has to say. Throw a little bit of dung pie at her. Oh, jeez. There's not really, if anybody's played this before, there's nothing special, right? On that statue or underneath that statue that I would have to kill these guys for. I have killed them all once, but I could have sworn there wasn't anything. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there they come, slowly but surely. Now get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Shoot me with the a spear right at the last minute. Uh, me too, I'm hungry for breakfast. I can't eat though, because I gotta go to sleep after stream. I know. I could eat, but I know that there's some effects that would happen. I'd probably gain a lot of weight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, short bow. <laughs> I'll take it. 
<laughs> oh man, four of them showed up. <laughs> Not enough. Oh, get out of here, short bow. There we go. Oh snap! Some guy pushing us with the shield. Another sentinel. Hey, I remember this dude from Sense Fortress. Well, of course not him exactly, but somebody like him. Ugh. Oh my goodness! I'm trying to save my life. Oh no! There goes my humanity too. I needed that. Well, I guess I didn't need it for Priscilla, but still, I wanted my humanity. Rest in pieces. Crusty pieces. Pern says, Yes, the wind breaks in the eye holes of skulls and moves away over the long rotted corpses. What a lovely day. <laughs> I agree. It's a beautiful day. Hey, Max Lee. He's the local pancake maker. <laughs> that bastard, he's aggressive for a pancake maker. You would think if he was the pancake maker, he'd be getting ready for breakfast all jolly and whatnot. They need to hire somebody a little bit less angry in the morning, that's for sure. Mmm, <sighs> yeah. I know, I was thinking, I guess we don't really need our humanity to fight Priscilla, right? Sad that we lost our beautiful smooth skin, but we already got the end of the invader. <laughs> oh! I should have saw that coming. Uh, we already got the NPC invaders, so we're good. Pretty much cleared it all out. Unless anybody sees any spots that I missed. Good to see you next week too, by the way. Welcome in. Hope everyone's having a good morning so far. I actually haven't gone to bed yet, so it's still nighttime for me. My mind. Ah. Oh, did I not grab it? There we are. Oh, do they, they come after us right away? Oh, it took too long. Swing in behind me, I see that. Oh my goodness, just go, just go. Found an opening of some kind. I know there's like a, oh, snap. Oh, okay, go. I know there's like a like small part that I can fall on, so that's why I didn't want to go all the way to the other direction. Oh my goodness! Latin. Now I see why you say he's the pancake maker. I understand now. Okay. Get rid of small fry over here. Now we'll dance. We'll dance the fandango. Oh, I knew it! Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. I do think I have a repair powder, so I'm not too worried. Flatten like a pancake. Uh oh! Stuck on the wall. Hey, you cheater! Only I can use Estus during the battle. Ain't you read the rules? Oh, that's right. I am doing a little bit less damage to Karn Sarnet. Yeah, you need to wash it full time. We'll do a little bit more damage. I have forgotten that. Eat my long blade! Yes, yes! Oof! Oh, you scumbag! There. <laughs> I know, I was like, how dare he heal right away? Thank you. At least we get a free tight knight. Okay. Now let's see what I can do about this disaster that we have. My Uchi Katana is breaking down. Do I have any repair powder though? I don't know. I don't really buy repair powder. Sometimes, sometimes you find some on the floor. <laughs> but not very often. Come on, repair powder. Bless us with your presence. 
Oh, I don't think I have any repair powder. Hard, darn it. I know I don't have any. Oh. oh well, that's fine. What is my, uh, this is my backup weapon. Not the Uchi Katana, but the washing pole is my backup weapon. 225 versus 180. Oh, I'll do it. We're gonna try anyways. We'll go back to the bonfire, of course. If we croak and then I'll fix the Uchi Katana, we'll be able to do a little bit more damage on her. So we'll just see how this first try goes. With the washing pole. Oh, we got him, Prince It took a while though. Now I know why Mexican called them the <laughs> um, pancake maker. Only three hours though? Jeez. I thought it had been longer, Kid Grey. I started up streaming at about like 11.30, I think, p.m. Yeah, it's only three right now, isn't it? At least it's not five yet. I was worried that I was gonna be streaming until 5 p.m. Milady, Milady, oh yes, let's give her some proper introduction. The fuzziest, most beautiful, most elegant of bastard children. Lovely, the one, the only, Priscilla. Lonely girl. Breaker of hearts. And bones alike. Oh yeah, I forget she shows feet. She shows toes, escapees, and she's so soft, and her eyebrows are scaly. What a beautiful woman. <laughs> what happened to me, uh, what happened, Pern, is actually the opposite. He said, did you wake up early? No, I didn't. Um, I stayed up really, really late on Friday night, and so on Saturday, I didn't get up until 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And I pushed down my whole schedule. I promised I would stream on Saturday. So I was like, oh man, we have half an hour of Saturday left. So I jumped on at nighttime and I'm still streaming right now. It's only been four hours though. <laughs> that was a lot of work for free, right, Jaybird? We didn't even get anything out of it. <laughs> it's the happy old woman from the Assassin's Guild, right, with her Reaper stick. All about that tail, though. You want to see that tail? This is Priscilla, Harry Bishop. She is going to be, she's very kind when you first meet her. She just wants to be alone, leave her alone. She's in her painting. Uh, she's not bothering anybody. She's not hurting anyone. Princess Priscilla. She does, however, become a boss if you attack her, which is what we're going to do. Uh, optional boss, though, Harry Bishop. You do not have to fight this uh, enemy to progress or anything. I actually don't know why she's optional though. We'll have to ask Lightning next time he's here as well. I don't know too much of the lore on Priscilla except for she was lonely. She clutched a peculiar doll and according to the doll's description, it pulled her into this painting. So I don't think she's the painter herself. Yeah, I kept my word, yeah, Pern. I was like, it's still 30 minutes Saturday left. Now let's go check out that tail. A lot of people like this character though, Harry. She is part dragon, part human. Uh, some people say Gwyn. Hey, that tail ain't smooth. I was lied to. Just the tip. Tip is the smoothest part. Everything else got fur on it. Priscilla. Oh, she looks cool though. Very interesting boss battle though, if and when you decide to fight her. Alrighty. There you go, Mexi. I'll get closer. One good look for you. One good look. Smooth tail. Hairy tail. Smooth tail. Hairy tail. Smooth. Okay, let me go ahead and speak to her. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. So she kind of tells you what if you want to fight, well, we can do that too. Very interesting fight that we have on our hands. Um, she says you can take off if you want, which means if we jump down from this platform right there, uh, we're able to warp back to Honor Londo. Able to warp back home. 
Okay. I know. I'm sorry, Priscilla. I Ugh. expected as much from thee. Why does he hurry toward thine death? Oh, that's fire word. She says she's gonna kill us. Very interesting. Where'd she go, you guys? Anybody know? No, huh? Neither did I my first time playing this. She is around. Check the snow out. See anything going on with the snow? Oh, what's that? Ooh. Something interesting. Oh, 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 oh! Am I fighting myself though? What dare happen, I say? I see something! I see little footy prints right there! Oh, I see one right there too! There she is. If you attack her enough times, she does come back to show you herself. But then she'll disappear in a second too, I think. I love this song too, it's beautiful. So three. It reminds me of Ash Lake just a little bit. The music. Oh. We'll escape, you're not an opera singer. You stop that right now. Oh, she got me. Oh, I see something go down right there. There you are! The lady! I forgot you do that attack. By the by, I do kind of want to try to cut off her tail. She's only got a little bit of health left, though. I know, you get that cool... Mm, cool item of hers. <sighs> Bye, -bye what? lady. What seek is Heartbreaking. Almost as heartbreaking as Sif, but... Sif is, honestly... One of the harder battles for me. <laughs> As an animal lover, I know. Especially when you meet him in the DLC first. Oh man. Bye bye. Cool BB in that one. Bye bye, Priscilla. Beautiful woman. I don't think maybe lightning crashed out or he, he might have gone into lurk mode. Hopefully he didn't get to witness. <laughs> Victory! Yeah! Kicked her ass. Psh, easiest boss. No, I'm just messing. She's actually very difficult. My first time when I didn't know what the heck I was doing, I didn't know to look for her footprints and stuff. I was like, kruh, 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 getting sliced in the back. Oh, and getting up and just slicing the air. She's like a crazy mad woman. Getting her, like randomly just hitting her. So I was like, oh, this must be what we're supposed to do. Hit randomly. And then no, finally put two and two together. Oh, do you look at the footprints. Of course. <laughs> we did it, escapees. Yay. Our first and only boss fight of the day took four hours to get to. And it was an optional boss to boot. We got the NPC though, so that's good as well. The invader dude. Um, once again, if you do cut off her tail, I did not succeed this time. Uh, maybe my sword was a little bit too strong or something. That happened with Gaping Dragon also. I was slashing at his tail like crazy and his freaking uh, sword or his tail wouldn't fall off. Gives us that weapon though. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mexley. I appreciate that. New follower hype. I believe you're like our sixth follower of the day. Woo! Thank you. Most days we only get like one or two followers, so thank you for that, you guys. Much love to everyone tonight. That was badass. Uh, oh, yes, I was like, what was I doing? I was gonna show you her tail. You get Priscilla's dagger from that. Oh, parrying dagger. Sorry, sorry. One on one, wrong one. So if I was able to cut off her tail, which I wasn't this time, you would get Priscilla's dagger right here. This sword, one of the rare dragon weapons, came from the tail of Priscilla. The dragon crossbreed. So they don't call her a hybrid or anything. <laughs> they don't call her a bastard either. That's messed up. Uh, the crossbreed in the painted world of Area Miss. Possessing the power of a life hunt, it dances when dances about when wielded in a fashion reminiscent of the white-robed painting guardians. Those who were protecting the painting, we saw them outside in that crazy area where we found black iron Tarkus's carcass and our and armor set too. But anyways, that's cool. And that actually, believe it or not, I think that does a little bit more bleeding damage 
than even the weapon that I have right now. 500 bleeding damage down there on the auxiliary effect. Mine on the Uchigatana and even the washing pole only has 300. So I would like to use Priscilla's dagger one of these days. The only thing with it is I'll show it to you on my character. It's just, it's a little, a little short. I don't know. It's, it's a thin sword, which is nice. If you like like rapiers and dagger type weapons, but I'm more of a like a medium to kind of big, maybe not ultra great sword, but great sword is a good size. Ultra great sword is badass, but then I, I have issues with how slow those swing. So I like the medium medium regular swords to the regular great swords as well. So Priscilla's dagger is just a little bit tiny. There it is. Just a little small. If it was a little longer, hell yeah, I would use it. Oh, that's sick. Dang on. Dang on, dang on. Cool. Let me see, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna use repeated heavy attacks. You kind of do like different dance moves after a while, huh? Oh no, it's the same ones. You just spin this way and spin that way. That's cool though. I like that. What if I dual hand it? Uh, 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 take that. Priscilla watching from heaven being like, oh, that scum using my weapon in the arena. That biatch is training. <laughs> okay, anyways, enough of that. We'll go back into my own regular sword. I'm going to use my Uchigatane again because I think, doesn't it transfer us to a... I know it's at risk. Xanthus crown. This is where I pick up this junk. I thought I was supposed to pick it up on his body and it just never showed up. Uh, this is the stuff that that NPC invader that got to us was wearing. So let me just go ahead and do a little soul searching on him. We'll read about him on his hat. God damn it, Solarino, your hair is always on point. Who says that? A0 Affinity, welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. You're too kind. You have a bright name, Zero. You're like a cool, oh, what type of green? It's like a seafoam green over on my tablet. Over here, I can see you perfectly. You're like a lime green on my laptop. Good to see you, good morning. What up, Funk Master Flex? Welcome to the stream, Funk. Woo! F F F Triple X Master Flix. Long time no see. How have you guys been up to? Or have you guys? How have you been? What have you been up to? There we go. I smashed all of it together because I got so excited and said, How's you guys been up to? <laughs> and read through Catch 22. Good morning, read through. Welcome in. Another familiar name that I hadn't seen in a while. Very good to see you guys again. We just killed Crossbreed Priscilla. Super cool character. Took her sword. No, we didn't. Sometimes you can cut off her tail, but I did not. Uh, I was unable to this time around. Maybe an NG plus two will be able to do it. But it is true. You can leave Priscilla, and I don't think it affects your game at all. She uh, she doesn't come out fight you later on or anything like that. <laughs> Come on, big Xanthus crown. I think I finally will start leaving some of this stuff in my bottomless box. Just for sanity's sake. I mean, we've been reading this the whole way, so... It's not like we're missing out on too many important items, I don't think. There it is, finally. It's like right at the bottom of the list. Xanthus crown. A mysterious item once worn by the Xanthus King Jeremiah. That NPC we fought. The legendary exile himself. No one knows where it came from. This crown bears high quality cloth, which is quite soft to the touch. But the bright ass color yellow stings the eyes. And it's clearly far too big, Jesus Christ. What on earth were they thinking this is not a stylishable fashion souls item in the least? The description says so itself. Bright yellow color sting in the eyes. Clearly far too big. <laughs> it's not big enough. That hat ain't big enough. No. Nimi, good morning, Nim. How are you doing? Oh my goodness, Nimi. Thank you so much. 
Hark now, what dost thou hear? Nimrod reascending! Woo! 21 months in a row, almost to that two year anniversary, Nimmy. Oh my goodness. Good to see you, Nim. Guys, Nimrod is an awesome caster. He is a good friend to the Soul Stream, and he is a part of the amazing 111 Savage Legion. Welcome to the stream, Nimmy. How are you doing, Nim? Oh man, you got some coffee, Nimra? You about to start streaming yourself? Remember, if I ask you, it's okay to talk to you guys about your streams and stuff. We just try to avoid like self-promotion from uh, mostly strangers and all that. <laughs> strangers, you know, people I haven't seen before and stuff. Thank you so much, Nimmy, for the reso. 21 months in a row. Oh, I know, have heard. What you mean, back with us for a little bit, have some breakfast? That'd be good. I actually, my first eating stream was a couple of days ago. I had some tacos, <laughs> some poor man's tacos. It was just meat and cheese. No, meat and tomatoes, not even cheese on the inside. And we just munched out on stream. I have not finished Sekiro read through. I put it away just for a little bit to play some Dark Souls off stream for fun. And then after that, I was like, you know what? I think I'll bring Dark Souls back to the stream just for a little bit. And then we beat Gwyn. We went into NG+, Plus, which is this run that we're going through, so I'm like, let's just keep going with some NG plus for now. <laughs> you can tell this game is a lot easier for me than uh, than Sekiro is. This game is still difficult, hell yeah, but since I played through it before and stuff, I know it a little bit better than I know Sekiro. Still want to get back to Sekiro though. <laughs> Haven't given up read through, I promise. I just got to an area where I'm going to fight a new boss. I just don't know who the new boss is. Somebody scary, I think. Working hard, playing harder for Funk Master Flex. Good, good. That's what I expect. Good to see you, Nimmy. Morning. <laughs> Yellow doesn't sting the eyes in a land with no sun. <gasps> Jay Bear bringing his logic. Get that logic out of here. It's He's too smart, you guys. J Bear 200 IQ. Not today, maybe later though, Nim. Like in the evening time. What time is it for me? Three. Oh yeah, so you still got a few hours on it, plenty of hours. Let me see. I'm gonna spy on you, Nimmy. I wanna know what time it is. Oh, it is morning, eleven thirty-three. What's morning? Yeah, Harry Bishop, that's who I was thinking of. Harry Bishop also in the UK. So it's whoa, it's early for you too, Harry. I wish, Pernstein. I'll try to do some more night streams and stuff. He says, won't you just stream, start streaming this time of day, please? I could watch a little bit more often. I'll do it for you, Perrin. No, but I will try to at least do a couple of late casts here and there. Maybe during the middle of the week, maybe on the weekend. We'll see where we can stick a middle cast. Middle cast, late night cast, what I meant to say. No one knows where it came from. Ugh, it might be tattered, but it's bright yellow color still stings the eyes. They're still complaining about it on the shirt description, j -Bear. That bright yellow color stinging some eyes right there. I think that is, yep, that's pretty much all that it says. Oh, I was just about to jump off the edge too. I guess it cut scenes for us. I was like, yeah, nope. Just to cut the This was the painted world of Ariamis. We just ran through it this stream. I was the only boss we got to today. Ah! ah I made a mistake! <laughs> I can't go back now. Oh, snap! Scared me. Oops! Scared me so much that I started pressing the wrong button. Alright, let's get out of here. My fault for not slaying these enemies earlier, so we're just gonna have to do the old run through. Run through Prelu. Ooh! I see his nasty little swords come towards us. Alright, help. I can find him, but my blade is broken at the moment. Excuses, excuses. Let's go, let's go. 
They might make it across the bridge. That'd be interesting. Oh, one did! I'm gonna take him with us. Oh, you know what? I'm trying to think if we need Gwendolyn for anything. Did I go up or down? Hopefully I went down. Oh, I went the wrong way. Dang it. I meant for it to go down a little bit farther. Alright, we'll do that again. <laughs> True, right? That's what I've been saying uh, earlier today, Nimi. I was like, well, it's still... I know it's morning for a lot of y'all out there. It's still nighttime for me since I haven't gone to sleep yet. Quick. Trying to justify it and stuff. I'm doing good though, thank you for asking to me. A little bit tired, I can feel it creeping up. I'm not sure how much longer we'll stay. I really, all we wanted to do today was get to a good boss. And, uh, good. We defeated Priscilla, she's a decent boss. I mean, she it was one try on her. Uh, she's definitely hard if you play her like, on your first time going through the game. She goes invisible and you're like, what the heck? What did she do? Where'd she go? Okay. Truth is, on GTA 5, I have a car with. I actually, I don't like, or I don't mind bright yellow either. I'm just trolling because the game's trolling. <laughs> I have a car with bright yellow paint. Well, I know how bad it can get. Oh, so he knows how bad it can get. Even your name here on Twitch is yellow too, huh, Jay? Yo, ye yellow can get bright, dude. I have a yellow house now. Oh my goodness, it's it's a beautiful color. According to my mom, yellow is like representing sunshine, so it should make us happier. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> so there's like a lot of good connotations that go with the color yellow. Harry's tearing out with left of my remaining hair on Bloodborne, Nimmy. How are you doing? How is Bloodborne going, Harry? What boss are you on if you, uh, if you don't mind this letter? Don't mind letting us know. See, I can tell it's getting late because now I'm starting to like mix up my words even. I hope my mom can't hear the words I use when I play that game, right? Hope stream doesn't- I think- I said the F word earlier today, didn't I? I think I was acting- not acting, but I was, uh... You know how one- how sometimes I pretend to be the characters? I give them little voices in the game. I think I was acting out a little scene there and I said F But the actual F word. Just very lightly, though. And I was like, oops! I caught myself too, like, oh! That one slipped out. Bloodborne, Dark Souls, ugh. I can't play any of these games without endangering everyone around me. Nimi, that's the best part. That means you're a berserker. Cut down enemies without abandon. Hell yeah. That's how I like to play too. <laughs> I know, you remember Nimi? Uh, oh, it's a raid. Ken, Ken, welcome to the stream. Thank you for that raid. Hey, you and a quad banger. Welcome to the cast. Bajarki. Let me know if I said that right, because I think I probably said it wrong. It's the raid. Welcome to the stream. Woo. Welcome, Ken Ken Raiders. Getting him a fellowship really quick, escapees. There we are. Nice. Thank you so much. How are you playing? Super Mario Odyssey. Amazing. Thank you so much for the random host. That was wild. Woo! Ken Ken with the raid. I think the ads should be done. Y'all know how Twitch is with them ads. Always like to wait a couple of seconds just to make sure. Welcome to the stream, Quad Banger. Thank you, Ken Ken. How did your cast go? Wow, that is wild, escapees. That is super wild. Let me get you a follow. Guess we should start streaming in the morning, late night. <laughs> I'm kidding. Much appreciated though. Welcome in. How goes it? How are you doing? Oh, look, there he is. Oh, thank you so much, Ken. Stream going well so far. We cleared out the painted world of Ariamis. We've got uh, Priscilla. We've got. We didn't get her dagger though, unfortunately. One tear shed. No dagger. Good day, woo. I love your guys' tentacles. Oh my goodness. Even. Oh man, we got to show Cormlock. I have a streamer friend, his name is Cornlock. he likes the Kraken a lot. Those tentacles, oh man. 
I gotta show him some of those tents right there. <laughs> My dog's borking. Go check, somebody might be outside. Chemical Baka, welcome to the stream. Lou Ghetto Pound Cake, welcome to the cast. Thank you for helping Ken Ken with that raid. I'm sure he appreciates it too. That's a big ol' raid, Ken! You have some awesome viewers as well. Aw, thank you, little ghetto! It's a slowly, slowly fading. I used to look a lot more like my profile picture. <laughs> now my hair's going back to blonde and my real black hair's coming back. Almost time to do it up again. How are you guys? What are you up to? Eating breakfast? Are you staying up all night like I am? I'm on the west side, I'm in Washington state, west side of the US, so it's 3.42 AM right now. And it is still freaking hot. Oh, I know, I'm like, what the heck? Uh, we just took out Prince, uh, Priscilla. Crossbreed Priscilla, I should say. I always call her Princess Priscilla, it's Crossbreed Priscilla. So let's go ahead and level up our vitality one more. Ooh. Now, if I remember correctly, I have to equip to Rin. It's the Dark Moon Covenant Ring. You find that one in the catacombs, if I'm not mistaken. Yay! T Lounge with the raid! Coming in with that Kin Kin raid right there. Much appreciated. Sorry about the ads. If you guys got ads, we all know how Twitch is. I'm an affiliate, so I, I don't have control over those. Yesterday, somebody got upset. They're like, damn it, Solar, you're running too many ads. I'm like, I don't run them, I swear. <laughs> it's Twitch. Still at work in the Middle East, and it's about 2.42 p.m. Nice, good afternoon. Hope you had some lunch at least, woo! Washington State, what part are you at, Team Lounge? If you don't mind me asking. I'm in the southern part, so I'm in the like Yakima Tri-Cities region. The freaking hot part that has a lot of sun right now, unfortunately. So are you a Dark Souls player as well, Ken Ken? I'm curious, thank you once again, I appreciate that a lot. Woo! Sorry if I seem a little out of it too, you guys, I'm a little sleepy. I might not stay up super, super late, though. Promise to fight at least one boss. We did complete that challenge. There's another boss ahead of me. I might have the means to get it to him. I might not have the means to get it to him, though. Oh, kind of near Seattle. Ah, oh, you're in the cool part, tea lounge. That's awesome. I was telling one of my viewers, uh, Blue, he was thinking about maybe instead of moving to Colorado, moving to Washington. Wanted to know how the whole of Washington State was, like all of it. I was like, oh, I can only tell you about my area. <laughs> I'm in the agricultural area. But uh, I told him what I knew about Seattle. Uh, what I know about Seattle is that it's amazing, technological-wise, or technology-wise, I should say. Uh, it's a lot more fun up there in the north, too. <laughs> Down in agricultural land, it's pretty chill, pretty country. Not much going I know, right, Bajarki? I'm like, dude, oh, get the sun out of here, man. Sweating, it's nighttime. Gross. Oh, what happened to my sword? Oh, yes, thank you. I was like, what happened to my sword? I was thinking of the sword over here. Thank you, J Bear. I do have to repair my sword. Crossy. Almost went in to fight a boss with this terrible, terrible item. Okay. Thank you, thank you. There we go. We're good to go now. We're covered. I'm just gonna go ahead and repair everything then. Alrighty, little ghetto, we'll see you soon. Going to the store, they said. Pick us up some chips, I'm hungry. No, <laughs> chips for breakfast. Thank you, Jaymer. Oh, Ken Ken, Sekudo player, hell yeah. Just finished Sekudo, Bloodborne, and now Dark Souls 3 playthrough. Where I go back to number one or another playthrough of Sekudo. Oh my goodness, Ken Ken, so you're a fellow Dark Souls from software fan. I was playing Sekiro myself, and uh, I'm, it's still a blind run technically for me. I do know who the ending boss is, but before that it gets a little muddled. I know I'm about to fight someone, I don't know if it's Owl or Genichiro again, or maybe Ishin a first time or something, but before that I ended up switching back to Dark Souls just for fun off the stream, and I got addicted to it, so I'm like, crap, well you know what, let's go ahead and continue this playthrough on stream. I'll be back on Dark Souls eventually, you guys, but I haven't beat it yet. Much respect for beating it, though, Ken. Lucky, too. I've never got to experience Bloodborne. I'm an Xbox scrub. That is badass, Ken. See, that's kind of how I am, too. 
I get stuck with like these type of games because I really like them. I didn't get to experience Dark Souls until I started streaming on Twitch and just watching different Twitch streamers. One in particular, Man vs. Game. I don't know why, but just him playing it and stuff, I was like, I actually think that looks kind of cool. It looks really hard though. I don't know if I'll be able to play it, but started it up one day, fell in love. I still have to do Dark Souls 2 though. That is my only one that I haven't played just yet. I haven't. I don't have any like issues against it or anything. It's just with the way the game started coming out and stuff, I just kept putting Dark Souls 2 on the back burner. But that is pretty cool, Ken. Oh man, I gotta check out your stream. Did I follow you already? Sure, I got that follow button on you. I haven't gone to bed yet, you guys, so I'm a little bit sleepy. Okay, I did, right? Good, good, good. I was just making sure I don't want to be that jerk. <laughs> just because it's late, you forget to follow and stuff. Uh, Nightbot dropped the links for social media or anything. If y'all want to hit that follow button for any of our Twitter or Facebook or anything, don't feel you have to. Never any pressure, you guys. Alright, so, I do know how to get- we have another boss that's hidden over here, a little secret boss, Quindolin. You can access this area with a certain ring. I'm not sure if I've picked it up this playthrough, so we'll see. I know I've picked it up in my last playthrough, but it might be one of the rings that gets taken away when you start a different one. Is it the Dark Moon Seance ring? I want to say it is. I think it is. Or the Dark Moon Blade Covenant. No, that's just the one that he gives us. Okay, let's try the Dark Moon Seance. Yes, there it goes. As soon as you put that ring on, the illusion of Gwyn's giant statue behind you disappears and reveals this nice little room. Cool. Okay, get this out of here. You don't have to wear it the whole time. Once you put it on, the wall disappeared, you're good to go. Ring I like to use, Covetous Silver Serpent. Gives you extra souls when you beat a boss, or when you beat any enemy. Okay, so if you go down here, you guys, you pray on the map. Magic carpet Halt. ride, it looks like it's gonna this give you a ride. This is the tomb it of the great it. Lord Gwyn. Tarnished, it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwyndolin, and kneel before me. Kneel before me. Let us kneel. Oh, disciple of the dark sun, thou hast journeyed far. Hear my voice. Break if thou shalt swear stuff. by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, they then want us I to work shall for the protect gods. thee, safeguarding Gross. thy person with the power of the dark moon. But we will join just for the free stuff. Just like any good IRL type movement, join for the free stuff, leave right after. Very well. Just kidding. Now thou art a blade of the dark moon, hunteth the enemies of the lords by the power of the dark sun. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Souvenir of reprisal. Those are those crusty ears that we got. Gross. Crusty ears being these things right here. Blood drained, shrunken hair. Souvenir taken for subduing the guilty ones. The knights called the blades of the dark moon. Punish the guilt soak offenders of the gods and take this as proof of their conquest. The earless corpses of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to others, inspiring both fear and respect for the gods. Such is the eternal mandate of the dark sun. Cool, and now we're a part of their faction. Excellent. Okay, but we're not going to be a part of that faction very long. You know why? We're going in. Our dirty feet are going to touch this hallowed ground. Ooh. What foolishness. Oh, he pierced. Why would a blade of the dark moon trespasseth upon the great more lord's tomb? We're part of his covenant. Mark the words of mine self. Gwyndolin. Give me Thou your hat, Gwendolyn. I love your spiky hat. It's the most fashion souls thing in the game. He has the Moonlight Butterflies battle thong. I know, I noticed that too. 
when I first battled him, I was like, Hey, I know this song. It's one of my favorites. Got him a good three times, not bad, not bad. He kind of battles, in a, in a small way, in my opinion, he kind of battles like the Moonlight Butterfly, just a little bit. Ah, got him only twice that time. You know what, I don't, oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, I was about to say, I don't seem to be using my shield very much. Maybe I should pull it out, huh? Oh! Dang! Those things got the power on them! That was good. That was good. I didn't think that those things were so powerful. Ooh, big ol' fat death right there. What a shame, what a shame. Good thing that we're like right outside his door though. <laughs> Oh man, I thought, honestly you guys, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I thought we had that one in the bag. I'm like, this is gonna be an easier fight than Priscilla. Wrong. Try number three. I'm Gwendolyn. I will have that hat. What Mark foolishness. Why trespasses upon the again. great lord's tomb, whilst thou art a disciple of the dark sun? Oh, speaking of that, of we did talk a Gwendolyn. lot about Gwendolyn, you guys. He is, this is the master Thou shalt magician not go who is responsible for all of the illusions in Honor Lando. In a strange way, though, he actually doesn't die. Oh, wait. Hey, are my souls around here? They should be. You give me back my souls, Gwendolyn. I'm going to be pretty mad. <laughs> Oh my goodness, dude, that is such a hard attack. That's a good attack. Don't leave yet. <laughs> I was like, wait, don't leave. Let me get a few attacks, man. Ugh, well, we got one. Good enough. There's my souls. I see them now. First, I'm gonna go left and right on this lovely hallway. Oops! Shot me in the foot! However will I guard now? Yeah, let me grab that really quick. My souls! Oh! Those arrows come through. Oh, snap! Oh, I took too long with that heavy attack. Doing good though, doing decent. Two-handed, let's see. Do it, do it, do it! Yes! Yes! A little bit more damage on him. I go from one-handed to two-handed. Oops! Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> nice! Got him a good four times on that one. Right. Couple more hits as long as he doesn't give me with those crazy, crazy little Magic blasters. Worst move that he has. Oh gosh. Ooh, got him once. That's good. Here we go, you guys. Wish me luck that I don't mess this last part up, though. No. Oh. Which very well could happen. See that? Ooh. Nastiness. Where of me right around, baby. Yeah! With the thrust! Oh, heretic, swathed in dark, an eternal curse upon thee. Oh no, we've been cursed eternally. Have you been? Victory! Good, good, good. I knew that wasn't really the long hallway. Soul of Gwendolyn! Let me go ahead. And you know what? We didn't read Priscilla's soul either. Such disrespect tonight. Such disrespect. Yay, we did it, Harry Bishop. Woo! You know what? Take some soul gems, because that was a good battle. That actually took two tries. 
Oh no! Lol can't spell viewers! Ken Ken, thank you so much for hanging out with us, dude. I appreciate it. Once again, thank you for the raid too. Me too. I'm about to crash out escape because I'm feeling tired. <laughs> thank you so much. If you haven't checked out Ken Ken's channel, please consider doing so. I already hit that follow button for him, so I hope I can catch his next stream next time too. Fellow Dark Souls player, that's all I need to hear. And I'm like, oh, yes. Bubble butt, yeah. Thank you, Bubble. Night can have a good one too. Get some rest. Harry, I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you for the GG. Hype. Speaking of that, we do have, if you are ascended in the stream, I just made the emote Soul's Hype in Inkscape. It is live now. Yay! So we're able to use it. Woo! Bye Ken, we'll see you soon. Now let's get over here too. Woo. That's pretty cool. I guess on my two playthroughs, I ended up getting both of these guys. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, see, I feel like my eyes, my eyes are glossing over escapees. It's so late. Soul of Priscilla, who we killed a little bit earlier. Soul of Priscilla, the crossbreed. Trapped inside the painted world of Area Miss. Special beings have special souls. Use the soul of this crossbeat bastard. Okay, see, I knew they called her a bastard somewhere. I knew that word didn't just come out of my mouth for no reason. <laughs> special beings have special souls. Use the soul of this crossbeat bastard child and antithesis to all life to acquire a huge amount of souls or to create a unique weapon. Do what you want with it. She's dead. <laughs> she don't care. So that's interesting. Hmm. It doesn't really tell us much about her. I, I hope it would give us a little bit more background on her. All I know is that, you know, she's a sad crossbreed child. Probably didn't have friends because she was a crossbreed, I'm assuming. And then, of course, she was later on banished to the painted world by clutching the doll. Hmm. She was an antithesis to all life. I guess they really hated her. Uh, now who did we just get? We got Gwendolyn, didn't we? There you are, Gwynny. Soul of Dark Moon Gwendolyn. God of the Dark Sun and Guardian of the Deserted. On Orlando. Deserted, keep in mind. Special beings have special souls. Use the soul of Gwyn's last born to acquire a huge amount of souls or create a unique weapon. So it just kind of tells us who they are. Oh. Thought it'd give us a little bit more background info, but that's... See, was that Seath's kid? Who, who did Seath phone? Next, Lee, do you happen to know? Did he, I mean, I'm assuming, well, of course he didn't, you know, do it with Gwyn, because Gwyn can't have no kids. Gwyn's a king. He's a man. Uh, so does that mean that Seath had relations with Gwyn's wife, the queen? Because if so, scandal! <laughs> Dude, I bet Gwyn was pissed. I'd be mad to find out my spouse is having uh, relations with a dragon. I'd be like, what? Am I not man or woman enough for you? You have to go sleep with a dragon? What's wrong with you? No wonder the queen was banished. No wonder Gwyn took off. He's like, F this, man. I'm going to go link the fire. I don't need to be married no more. And Ho cheated on me with a dragon. A dragon of all. A scaleless dragon to boot. Not even a real dragon. But yeah, the good thing about slaying Gwendolyn is you get access to these cool items here. Medical sunlight blade. I think that's Gwyn's item himself, the key. Next item. Brass helm, brass armor, and brass leggings. Brass, you say? Let me check that out. Cause wasn't that, is, doesn't this stuff belong to the firekeeper? Is right outside. I could have sworn she's the person that wears that brass armor too. Oh yeah, Harry Bishop. So I did tell the dog story, the neighbor dog story, but I, you know, I didn't want to beat a dead horse by repeating it over and over. But if you missed it, long story short, escapees, we've had a little neighbor dog. Oh my goodness, she is sleeping upside down right now. I gotta take a picture of that. 
Uh, we have a neighbor dog. Oh, that's a fuzzy picture. That's so cute. <laughs> She's sleeping upside down. That is funny as F. I'll post it up to Snapchat because you can't really see it. It looks like a... <laughs> it looks like... On the stream when I saw that, it looks like one of those... Uh, what do you call them? Ultrasound videos. <laughs> no, um, my neighbor dog, she liked to pop through the fence and stuff. There's like a hole in the fence that the neighbors won't fix. And uh, on our side, we have like a bush, so it's not like I can go under there and just patch up a hole or anything. So the dog kept escaping. She kept hanging out at the house. Uh, me and my mom, we've taken her back several times. Well, yesterday, mom takes her back. The neighbor lady comes out and says, oh, yeah, we're trying to give her away, actually. We're trying to find a good home for that little one because she is starting to be a little bit troublesome with escaping and whatnot. And so mom's like, hey, you know, if you need a spot, we'll take her. We'll, we like her. She's a cute dog. Uh, you know, little mouth to feet, but that's okay. We just have Tinkerbell, my other dog. And the lady says, well, uh, you know, I'll think about it. Who knows? You know, we'll, we'll see. So my mom's like, yes, definitely, you know, just take the dog back. So she gives her back the dog and mom comes home. Well, not 10 minutes later, you guys, neighbor dog is knocking at the door again, wanting to be let in. So what did we do? We let her in. She's been with us the whole day, the whole night. Uh, all day, all night today, so she's kind of our dog. The neighbors know that she's over here, or they've been outside, you know, and they haven't come to knock on the door, they haven't gotten upset or angry, so I kind of assume that neighbor dog is ours now. <laughs> Free dog hype, whoa! So yeah, long story short, Harry Bishop, I think neighbor dog belongs to us. Of course, if the neighbors do want her back, uh, me and mom talked about it, it's cool, you know, if they want to take her back and stuff. Um, because I do like her, I like neighbor dog, but Tinkerbell, she was alone for a long time. My first doggie. But that's crazy, I need to look up some more lore on Priscilla. Because I want to know who, <laughs> who birthed her. Unless Seath is a woman. Cool. I just spaced out and started looking at chat. <laughs> I was reading Harry Bishop's comment over again. Um, after, okay, so let's see the brass helm. After becoming undead, she visited the dark sun Gundlin at the mausoleum of the spiral depths, became a blade of the dark moon, and assumed the flame-keeping duty. She received this helm, which hides her hideous form and helps her hunt the guilty. So that is the set of armor that we found in here. Very interesting, because I thought we found the set of armor when we kill her. I guess not. The only reason you would kill that lady is if you wanted her soul, or if you're about to end the game. Because if you kill her before that... <gasps> emptiness! Blasphemy! The lore on this treasure chest. Yes, there's lore on the treasure chest, too. The lore on this treasure chest is that it was an item that... See this big-ass thing right here, you guys? Up top where the flowers are? This whole area right there, this whole flat thing that I'm about to attack. That is Gwendolyn's, or excuse me, Gwyn, the main god, the main enemy of this game. That's his resting place, his final tomb. So that's why there's flowers up there. These items are supposedly items that were left in, like, left in respect, kind of, in front of the tomb. So we came and just pretty much grave robbed. Oops. And so what was here, what was in this one? I forgot. But what was in that one is the brass helmet and piece and armor set and all that and what was over here is an empty treasure chest now from what i know of the lore this empty treasure chest was left by the nameless king Gwyn's firstborn son the one who betrayed him and ended up becoming a friend to the dragons instead of helping good old dad fight him yep he befriended the dragons became the nameless king that's why he was banished and exiled and as such i think either he didn't leave anything for his dad or he took it with him before he Parted. But he takes off to Arch Dragon Peak, Dark Souls 3. Alrighty, let's get out of here, you guys. That's enough bosses for today, I think. We got Priscilla, we got Gwendolyn, we cleared out all of the Painted World area mists. The NPC invader got slain. Uh, I don't think we needed this guy, Gwendolyn, for anything. The illusion of Honor Londo should still be around. That doesn't disappear until we take out 
Guinevere, the sister. Alrighty. Let's level up. Vitality just one more time. We're only getting like 20 extra health. And I will warp, last but not least, over to the Fireling Shrine. We'll go ahead and call it a night, a morning, and evening, a midday for Pernstein. <laughs> but as for me, time for me to catch some Z's, escapees. It's about 4.07 over here on the west coast of the U.S. So I believe it. That's 7 a.m. for those of you on the east side. Oh, man. Let me see what, what that time was. How long did we make it, you guys? Only four hours and 45 minutes. True that though, I did start up at 11 p.m. That's my fault. Thank you so much for everything. We had some amazing raids today. We had two random raids, believe it or not. Really, really cool. First one was, how's your audio? Or, how's my audio, I should say. Second raid that we had today was Ken Ken. Much appreciate you guys. Several hosts as well. Biddies. Chief Nikes with 100 biddies today. Thank you, Chief. Yesterday, nothing but karma, of course. Much appreciated, yay! Raw mystery, thank you for the lurks. Yes, thank you for reminding me, lurkers. I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, you help out the stream so much, so. Never think that you are, uh, never think anything less if you lurk, you guys. I know some people are like, I'm sorry, I can't be active in chat. No, just lurking and stuff. That helps out a lot. Using me as background noise, good enough for me too, you guys. Bye, Raw Mystery. Have a good rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Have an awesome Sunday. Enjoy the end to the week. Weekend, I should say. I'm going to see if we can raid anybody up. If there's nobody up right now, because it is a little bit of a weird hour, and we might just end the stream dry. Oh, there are, yeah, we have a couple of people that I'd like to read. Bye, Ra, good to see you too. Especially so early. I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow for a little bit. Um, if not, I'll let you know. I'm thinking about taking, since I didn't take the weekend off, of course, uh, I'm thinking about maybe taking Monday off the stream. We'll see how that goes, though. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Thank you, Harry, it was a good time. Sorry if I ran out of energy right there at the end. I was feeling it. I'm like, woof, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit sleepy now. Started reading things twice. <laughs> oh, good times, escapees, good times. Yeah, I learned some stuff about the game. Excellent, Harry. We'll have to talk more about Bloodborne as well. Or if I ever decide, or you know, if I ever get a PlayStation to play it, I'll have to go to you for the lore info, Harry. One of these days, the tables will turn soul will be asking Harry Bishop about what the game is about. I'll be harassing you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's like, please don't. Have a good night, you guys. Have a good rest of your day, too. All right. Let's see, let's see. Take some soul jummies. I know I'm trying to think. What did I forget, escapees? Oh, yes, yes. I knew it. I have not done this all stream, so I'm going to do it right now, even though it is a little bit late. It's still cool. Let's do the spiel. If you haven't hit the follow button for the soul stream, please consider doing so, you guys. We had at least six followers today, which is really badass. Uh, we haven't had six followers in, in one stream sitting for quite a while, you guys. Usually, you know, there's like one, two, three. Always awesome. Sometimes there's none, but today there was six, so pretty cool. I say thank you to those raids. I think that's what caused it. Um, if you want to follow us, not on Twitch, but on our Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, any of our social media profiles, feel free to do so. Instagram, soul underscore escape, capital S-U-L underscore 3SC4P3, capital S-U-L underscore 3SC4P3. We'll get you to all those social media sites or clicking the links in the chat. Thank you, Nightbot, right on time. Snapchat is open and available to the public as well if you want to add me up there. Solar Escape, so a little bit of a name change, S-O-U-L-0-U-R, 3-S-C-A-P-E, S-O-U-L-0-U-R, 3-S-C-A-P-E, Xbox Gamer Tag right there, Soul Space Escape, capital S-U-L, Space, 3-S-C-4-P-3. Don't forget the space. Currently at 8,700 followers, you guys, thank you once again for that. I think we made it to six, or excuse me, 750 today, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, thank you so much, you guys, and thank you for watching once again. Much appreciated. Hope to see you all soon. If I don't see you here, we can 
talk to each other on Discord, Twitter, wherever you want, you guys. I'm always available. I'm always available. Well, usually available. See, that's so funny. I always do this. Right at the end of the stream, I start gathering stuff up. It reminds me of somebody, like like a janitor or something. I'm just like cleaning, like, all right, show's over. <laughs> Brooming. <laughs> so you wait till after cast to start cleaning up. Bye, everybody. Peace and love. Let's go ahead and raid. I'm revealing too much. I've not seen him in quite a while, so I want to go ahead and show some love over there. Uh, forgive me if I raid and take off really fast. It's, uh, you know me, I'm probably just going to post the ending stream stuff and then pass out myself. Yes. Oh, such a good stream, you guys. We had some successes tonight. Yay. It's done, Jay. I know. Have a good rest of your night, though, AJ. AJ. Peace and love. All right, rating up for revealing too much. Bye, Pern. I hope to see you soon around this uh, same time zone, hopefully at least one time during the week, right? That'd be nice to get a couple of nighttime streams and nighttime my time, daytime for Pern, uh, daytime for Harry and Nimi as well. Nimrod, if you're still there, thank you for stopping by too. All right, you guys, if you wanna join us in the raid, feel free to do so. You can go ahead and copy paste this right here. Shout out to Iron Milk Steak. I know you're probably sleeping, Iron. Sorry to keep you up so late. But yeah, if you want to raid with us, you guys, feel free to copy and paste one of these here. Uh, if you have the, if you're ascended, you got the emotes. I suggest using the emotes and stuff. That'd be cool. Get some bang for your buck and all that. If not, feel free to use the top command. Let's go ahead and slow raid. Yeah. Alrighty, escapees, and as always, ever onward, ever forward. Catch you next time on the Soul Stream. Bye, Pern. Bye, everybody. Go raid. Woo! Yeah, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday.